All right. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to tonight's stream. Uh, I had one of my last classes for one of my classes, so we're getting there. Um, I'm probably, honestly, like, at this point, I, like, did the majority of what I needed to do last night. I might just be good to get back to the swing of things. I'm probably not going to set up a stream schedule in the middle of the week, but uh, I'll probably be back to streaming more actively um, after that one weird week. But hello, everybody. This is, in fact, the soup stream. It's always the soup stream. Uh, before we start, I want to talk about one thing and one thing that's very near and dear to my heart. Oh my fucking god, they're finally porting Zombies Ate My Neighbors to newer consoles. Thank fuck. It doesn't have online co-op, which I'm kind of pissed about, but, um, Zombies Ate My Neighbors is one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. Uh, this new version is supposed to have, like, saves in between levels so you don't have to deal with the password nonsense. I've, I think, like, that alone is going to make that game a lot more accessible to a lot of people. Not just because it's, like, on actual consoles that people play these days. Not that, you know, you don't, people don't like to fire up a good Super Nintendo, but, like, not everyone's gonna own a Super Nintendo, you know? More pe- The fucking Switch is still selling like crazy. Isn't it, like, past the Game Boy Advance at this point? In terms of sales? And, I mean, it's also going to be on uh, the new consoles, the PS5, the Xbox Series X. It's going to be on fucking Steam. Although, that's not really an achievement because everything gets thrown on Steam. But, I'm really excited. I am really excited for the Zombie Save My Neighbor port. I'm probably going to be streaming it again. I, I streamed it last year during Halloween season, but I may just stream it again when it comes out. Like, I think it's June 29th. But I'm definitely going to be picking it up. Maybe I'll give Ghoul Patrol another chance, too, because I think it's bundled in with Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I don't remember liking Ghoul Patrol that much, but maybe maybe I'm the one who's wrong. Maybe I need to give it another shot, and maybe if I play Ghoul Patrol, I might be like, actually, this is great. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, let's, let's, let's just get into it. Let's just get into it. Pokemon, Pokemon's new snap. Am I hearing sound? Thanks. Why is it so quiet? <laughs> Zombies Ate My Neighbors is not the one with the tall lady. That is a Resident Evil. But it's an easy mistake to make because they both got zombies. Um, neighbors were probably eaten by those zombies in the process. I would love to try the Resident Evil series at some point, but it hasn't happened yet, and I think the new the new games might be a little too advanced for my computer. But Doug, you may this is Nintendo, Doug. I don't understand. It should be more comically silly horror. You're right. That's kind of what Zombies Ate My Neighbors is. Also, yeah, Resident Evil Four is good balance both, from what I've heard. I'd love to try Resident Evil 4, but we'll see. I might get Steam version of that if I do. I would get I would get the Switch version, but like Capcom priced it at some like isn't it like thirty dollars on the Switch? Why did Capcom do that? Capcom does this a lot with their Switch ports. Cap. Oh, uh, it's like 20? It's not like cheaper on other consoles still. It's still like weird. Yeah, I think like 15 is the base price on other platforms. Weird. Probably buy it on Steam. Plus, I don't think like a horror game is necessarily what I think of when I think of the Switch. Like if I'm gonna play a handheld game, probably not gonna be a horror game. I mean, it's, pr like, the port job is probably fine enough because it's an old game, but, yeah, it's still weird that it is worth more. 
because Capcom arbitrarily wants to price their games more on the Switch. Like, come on. Come on. Um, so I actually have an idea of what we're supposed to do to Thanks. beat the game. Um, we'll see if I can make that happen. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird that it doesn't have the motion controls. I don't know why Capcom cheaped out on that. They, they have a version with motion controls. Port that version. Uh-oh. Someone's gotta help out, Doug. But I hope you're all hope you're all having a good Wednesday. Hey, watch this. Hey, watch this. I suppose the sky is clear at night and during the day. Actually, I don't know if it happens. We might have to unlock level two, but there's something very funny that happens to Skarupi in this level. A high king is gone. Hi, chat. Look at this guy. Look at these little men's. Awesome. Oh, watch this. If this is the part. Okay, now. That is such a bad picture of Sandshrew, but if it can. Yep! Did you see that? Did 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 you guys see that? That Skarupi just got fucking owned. Okay, so I have to identify the Krista Bloom that is shining. I believe that is our objective for this this level. Kill the Pokemon. Yeah, we could like attack them with apples. That's as close as we're gonna get. Yeah, the Minior just like fucking destroyed Skarupi. It's very funny. Uh, I beat this game on my own. I'm not gonna give my full thoughts on it till the end, but I will say, um, if you have, like, a lot of nostalgia for the original Pokemon Snap, like I do, I, I will say, this will, this, you, you can't go wrong with this one. Um. Well, I say it's as good as the original? Eh, I, that's kind of hard to do in general, because the original is, like, so solid. But... I'd probably say the original is better. Um, but this game is really good. It's got a lot going for it, but... As I'll discuss later. There's just some problems. I don't, I don't want to, like, talk... Like, we're in the middle of the game currently. I won't chat... Chat up my full thoughts yet. I have an apple. Oh, hi, Sandshrew. What? Oh, wow. He's, she's harassing that Sandshrew. What is wrong with you? There's so many rude animals in the world. Okay, this is where the Crystal Bloom is. For we also have a whistle. It's Cubchu in the game. I actually think Cubchu is. If I'm remembering correctly, I think in one of the later levels there is a Cub Chew. But if I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. I do remember its evolution being there. I remember Bear Tick being there. If I am wrong and Cub Chew isn't there, I'm so sorry. But I'm fairly sure Cub Chew is there. Hi, Kathy. Was that, like, a good enough picture of the Crystal Bloom? I hope so, because that's... I'm pretty sure that's how we progress. Your mom hates the... Hates Cub Chew because of the snot? Well, then she just... She should just get him out of the cold. Would be insane if they put Pikachu in that. That would never happen. That's, like, too much of a deep cut. You know? Like, Pokemon has been playing it very safe recently. Uh, Pikachu's, like, way too much of a deep cut for them to do. Like, come on. I think we're at the end of the level. One thing I will complain about right away, though, is... 
fucking... I don't, I don't like that you don't get the boost until late into the game. The original Pokemon Snap also has this problem, and it's like, if I already know what I need to do to move on, like, why on earth would you make me go all the way through the level at base speed? Please, Pokemon Snap. Hello. It's the first time you out there at this hour. Want to hear all about the Pokemon you saw? Any good? Yeah. Okay, Professor likes that, so we'll get we'll get new story stuff. Um, I guess the three star, which is him getting fucking owned, absolutely decimated. Um, well, I guess we'll do the back picture. Two star. That is so, that is like so bad. That is so bad. You could barely tell what's going on. I like this one, but it's not a two star. Oh, that's that's an ideal picture of Onyx, honestly. All right, Professor, eat him up. Enjoy these funny pictures. Now that, great timing. Mediocre Skaroopy. Pretty good to trap inch. New Kangaskhan, is this one any good? Do you like the picture of Kangaskhan's back? Oh, he, he thinks it's great. That was like a great picture for him. Great Cacnea. How about this Sandshrew? Do you like Ball? He doesn't really care about ball that much. A new discovery. Great timing. Great, fantastic lichen rock. Just absurdly good lichen rock. A new discovery. Nice work. Great, great onyx. A new discovery. New mini nice work. When did we get a Justin emote? We've had the Justin emote for a while. I just, like, I remember mentioning it, like, a long time ago. It, it was so long ago that it still has, like, the fucking Gerby tag. I'm gonna keep it that way because it's funny. A new discovery. But yeah, we have, we have a Justin emote. You can use it if you have better Twitch.tv. Is that enough to level up? Nearly. I might have to level up again to uh, do story progression, which is annoying. Huh. Oh, never mind. Never mind, the professor's got something to report. Aw, oh, Mr. Mime. <laughs> what the hell did Mr. Mime do to get so fucking destroyed? Ooh, I like little homie. I like little homie. I mean, Doug's not the one who arrested Mr. Mime. It's the fu it's the fucking cops. Doug's got nothing to do with that. He was arrested for treason. <laughs> now, Lumina orbs for Volca Island. You mind? Use them to take your research further. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guess I can use right. them here now. I don't remember if I need to do day or night to progress with the orbs. Because if we could beat this game tonight, that'd be really sweet. Because I do want to start Doom 64 soon. But I kind of need I kind of need to beat this game first. I do need to beat this game first. Oh, 
Okay, I do need to reach level 2. I do need to reach level 2 in Sans Knight. Thank you for your service, Doug. I, I, be I believe you'll be able to get Mr. Mime out of there. For whatever treasonous action he pulls in Brazil. Frankly, as far as I'm concerned, according to the internet, probably Mr. Mime's crime is that he didn't go to Brazil. And that's like the worst thing you could do. Because everyone online is asking you to go to Brazil. Why di when did that meme start? The please come to Brazil meme? Because that shit's everywhere. I, s I still see people saying that like nearly a decade later. That was I remember that was like a big thing on like 2013 Tumblr. I have no idea what you're talking about. There is just like this big meme that was just like, please come to Brazil. And like, I wonder if it worked. Do you think like people have gone to Brazil because of that meme? Okay, let's watch. I want to watch Skaroopy get fucking owned. Hold on. <laughs> it's funny every time. Just got fucking annihilated. Whoop. Skaroopy getting fucking owned is so fucking funny to me. This, ga this game is a fucking comedy game. Oh, did I not? I didn't notice Mandibuzz before. Hmm. Pro I think there was probably a split path the other way also. But I fucked that one up. I definitely fucked that one up. What happens if I hit this one? It's gonna be one hell of a task. Like, can, Rock, can you just, like, stand inside of my vehicle? Thank you. Thank you kindly. Nice. Pokemon. Hell yeah. Welcome, Sebastian. Hi, everyone, to the stream. I don't think I said a proper hello. Yeah, do tell. Do give us the updates on the Mr. Mime situation, Doug. I I want to see. I want. I I I I would love for Mr. Mime to get out of prison. That's just a crystal bloom. That does nothing for me. I've already seen the crystal bloom. Oh yeah, that's understandable. I wish you luck with all application oh, really? shit. Occasionally worry that the actual Nintendo will get mad about the Doug Bowser thing. Well, that's the real Doug Bowser So if they would have gotten mad they would have already of course In all honesty, though, sometimes I'm a little afraid to incur Nintendo's wrath. Sometimes I get a little scared, because I was uploading, like, fucking YouTube Let's Plays back when Nintendo was still, like, copyright claiming shit. And, like, I just have, like, fucking... My monetization ripped away from, like, Super Mario World videos, which sucks, because I love to play Super Mario World every day of my life. 
<laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Well, you can't say he, he's not taking that chance. He's not, he's definitely taking the opportunity to remain silent. Yeah, of course, I'd never emulate. Emulating Nintendo games is wrong. <laughs> I got, I got, I gotta talk with your mom about Super Mario World because Super Mario World is one of my favorite games. We'll have a nice chat. You know, most people online would be like, <laughs> "I had sex with your mother," but like me, I would just be like, "No, I play video games with your mom," and there's nothing you can do about this. All right, Professor, give me new level. All right. Mm, nice work. Excellent. Hey, I filled the page on Skaroopy. I have every Skaroopy in the world. Don't play Minecraft with your mom. She never remembers how to jump. I haven't played Minecraft in so long. Maybe when my friends are all playing the work cave update, maybe I'll get back into it. But I remember, Minecraft's one of those things that's, like, so fucking daunting to get back into. But I think, like, after getting back into the Binding of Isaac, with how fucking hard that is to get back into, I think I could do it now. I think I have, like, the mental fortitude to get back into Minecraft. Nice work. Great timing. I'm gonna join- I'm gonna join a Minecraft uh, survival multiplayer, and it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be official Nintendo supported. Uh, Doug, uh, Doug Bowser's gonna be there. After, after we race Super Mario Sunshine, Doug's gonna be in Minecraft with me. This, uh, this is my promise to the world. All right. I'm not actually promising that. Spleen SMP. <laughs> I don't know why that got me. Spleen SMP. Spleen's just like a fun word to say. Can we all be honest? Spleen's just a fun word to say. Spleen is a pretty funny word. I, 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 I briefly mentioned it earlier, I'm slightly afraid to incur Nintendo's wrath. Because I've seen- I've, like, watched some people on YouTube, like, do, like, Nintendo beta stuff. Right. And then they just fucking, um, they got fucking destroyed. They got- they got destroyed. Um, that shit got taken down so fast. Um. So I'm, like, scared of that. That's why I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't show, like, beta stuff. Or, like, stuff like that on stream, I don't think. Even if it could bring me in the big bucks? Not doing it. Not doing it. Oh! You know what? I didn't mention this. I didn't mention this, but I can mention it now. Um, so... I finally changed. Um, pretty bad. Pretty bad is now something that you can proc once a day. Not just one chat member but everyone can proc it once a day. Um, and I did this because this effectively nerfs it. If you can do it daily, it absolutely does not have the same power as pretty good, and now it just serves as a shameful display of your own hubris. Like, you really, you really just spent one channel point to, to be pretty bad. And see, see Morgan fell right for it. Morgan fell right for it. Redeemed pretty bad. And now, and now people are gonna redeem pretty bad, and it's just, it's just gonna look, it's just gonna be on your record. It's just gonna be on your record that you think it's funny to be pretty bad. I wanted to, like, find a Twitch extension that lets you track how many times, like, certain channel point things are redeemed. I don't know if that exists, though, but if any of you know, reward is temporarily at, oh, did I accidentally fuck it up? Oh, shit, it should be. It should be once for every member. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix that after the stream, then. 
Someone reminded me after the stream to fix that, because it's supposed to be one, once a day for every member. Yeah, you took, you took away pretty bad from Professor. everyone else. Hey, Professor! You figured out where we're gonna go right next, right? Glad I did. Glad you're as eager as ever, Phil. <laughs> Come on, tell us! <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Our next research site will be a volcano. <gasps> Alright, that's intense! Wow. Will we be okay? Absolutely. I just re finished reinforcing the Neo-1 for extra safety. Can Pokemon really live in a volcano? That's what we need you to go find right. out. Best of luck out there. But now we get to go to the volcano. Huh? Who's in charge of naming children in Pokemon spin-offs? He doesn't even know if there are Pokemon there. Why would there not be a Pokemon in a volcano? There's an entire subtype of Pokemon called Fire-type. Does he just think that no Fire-types would live in a volcano? First thing I see is a dragon type, so I guess he had a couple points. Take a nice picture of Altaria. Look at that. Altaria's so funny. If I ever did a if I ever did a Pokemon game where like Altaria was like decently viable, I'd do it. Or no wait, I did use Altaria. I used Altaria in XD, didn't I? How did I forget already? I I like streamed XD like a month or two ago, and I just, like, already forgot about it. Altaria is viable if you're persistent. Yeah, it's, like, pretty good. It's, like, not the craziest dragon type in the world, but... Is the character named awesome. the Mongola? Come on. I like Archeops. It's, like, a weird giant chicken. That's a dinosaur. Oh, the crystal bloom. I was about to say, like, that's a fucking dinosaur. I don't think you need me to analyze that to tell you that that's a fucking dinosaur. Also, it's very funny that there's just, like, casual, like, fossil Pokemon living on this island. Like... This implies that we're at a point in the Pokemon series where, like, so many fossil Pokemon have been revitalized that they're just living in the Pokemon world now. They're just, like, net normal. Oh, you know what's funny? If you do that, fuck that guy. Charmander? I hear a squawking. Also, yeah, 100% agreed. Whenever we get to Pokemon X and Y, like, I don't even know if I'll care enough to, like, read 90% of the dialogue, because it's so nothing. None of the characters in that game are really much of anything. I mean, I already kind of make it a bad habit that sometimes if I'm lost in a train of thought and I want to keep talking, I'll just, like, ignore Pokemon dialogue, but... I mean, so far that hasn't really been an issue, I don't think. None of the Poke early Pokemon games are really that story-heavy. Maybe when we get to Pokemon X and Y, I don't do that, though. Or not Pokemon X and Y, Pokemon Black and White. Because Pokemon Black and White are not story-heavy, but more, uh, much more in-depth story. Here's Charmander. Here's Charlie-mander. You know what I miss about the old game, though? That I wish this game brought back? That, like, if you... There was, like, a point where you would, like, be in front of a Moltres egg, and, like, you would just stop... And then you could take pictures of this one spot of a bunch of Charmanders. And if you just kept throwing apples, more and more Charmanders would spawn. Oh, 
Also, yeah, it's just uh, just the Pokemon X and Y ro rivals are so classic. They're nothing. They're nothing to me. Also, yeah, they literally just moved there. So they don't know the rivals. But the rivals are just like, Hey, you're our new best friend now. Let's give you a nickname. That's a three star? Just a picture of like its spikes? Alright. More like Pokemon crap, lol. A high read. I forgive I forgive you. I forgive you for jokes. Yeah, Lysander like Lysander just like says vague evil stuff and everybody's like <laughs> Classic Lysander moment, and then he turns out to be evil, and they're like, oh. That's literally what Professor Sycamore does. A new discovery. He's just like, oh yeah, li me and Lysander go way back. We're we're best buddies. And then when he does, he uh, like dies from a laser blast. He's just like, sorry about that. I I didn't know he was evil. Nothing could have. Nothing could have made me realize he was evil. A new discovery. Also, you're so right, Sebastian. I just read that. You're literally so right. A new discovery. <gasps> nice work. A new discovery. Nice work. I don't. I don't agree with the notion that the 3DS era was a like a discovery. golden age for Nintendo. Nice work. And, like, that's not me being biased towards the Switch. Because I wouldn't say the Switch is, like, a golden age for Nintendo either. That's... It's more just, like... Yeah, the 3DS has some great entries in some series, but it also has some of the most nothing entries in series. Like, you know what I mean? It, 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 like, goes back and forth between having some of the most interesting and fun entries in a series to having some of the most nothing entries mm -hmm. that you just don't care about. Yeah, the third party support wasn't that great. There were some good first parties for sure, but, like, the third part, absolutely the third party support was not there. Third party support was not there. Okay. Probably have to get to level two. Or maybe hit a crystal bloom. Either way, we're gonna have to replay the level. Yeah, the, the, the DS, I would probably say, is a better console overall. Good luck. Ooh. Also, yeah, the 3DS had so many fucking mediocre 2D platformers, like... Ooh, hi, Luxray. Hey, bro. Literally. Also, yeah, Sword and Shield could use more clothing options, for real. I, I guess it's just because, like, I'm kind of an older soul, so I have nostalgia for older things than a lot of other people my age, but, like, I, I see, like, videos in my recommended that are like, oh, man, the 3DS and Wii U era was actually, like, a sleeper hit, and I'm like, man, 
That was like the generation I played Nintendo the least. Like, out of all Nintendo generations, I've probably played 3DS games the least. Like, 3DS Wii U? I mean, fuck, you look at my shelf, I have like five Wii U games right now. I, I had some more when it was new, but not much more. Pokemon Gen you have the most nostalgia for is Gen 2. Hell yeah. Johto is just like a like very nostalgic feeling. Oh. Cool. cool flying. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. Like, I wouldn't say the 3DS is bad. It's not. It's a great console. I like I would I would say it's a great console. But like, um I I don't agree with the notion. Like, I've seen, like, there's this one specific video that was, like, I've, I've never watched this, so this could be, like, the best video in the world, but it's, like, the end of Nintendo's most ambitious era, and it's, like, a picture of the 3DS, and, like, I don't know if I would agree with the 3DS being one of Nintendo's most ambitious projects. Like... I would even say the Switch is more ambitious, and there's plenty of games on the Switch that are just playing it super safe. But, like, I don't know. The 3DS actually sucked because they never got Grezzo to do a Wario World port. You got me there. You, you, you got me there. Oh, hi, Torkoal. I didn't see you last time. Yeah, I would say the DS and, like, Wii era is more ambitious. Well, no, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe DS itself? The Wii was kind of like, they played it a little too safe at the end of that generation. Like, the Wii, the Wii became incredibly safe at the end. But the DS, I would say, was pretty consistently, like, good throughout its life. In fact, I would say the DS probably got even better by the end with, like, the addition of, like, the DSi. Because there was a lot because of the DSi. Also, yeah, like, the the main gimmick of the 3DS being the 3D, which nobody gave a shit about, just kind of, like, makes it a little lesser. I don't know, though. Maybe I'm being a hater. Maybe I'm being a hater, though. Also, yeah, they just stopped supporting it. Because they knew, like, oh, this is nothing. Who cares? Also, I've been dropping a lot of frames tonight. Has it been, like, really bad and, like, really buffery? Welcome back. I did not realize it'd be this bad. I did, like, a stream test earlier that was, like, five minutes and it was fine throughout. Very buffery? Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, like, I'm glad people enjoy the 3DS a lot. I think it is. I think it is a great console. It had a lot of great first-party games, but like, I, I I don't know if I'd call it most ambitious. I don't like the N64. I'd probably say the N64 is the most ambitious one, just because like switching from 2D to 3D, it it, it just like that was the era for, like, crazy ambition to run wild. If I, if I had to say what it was. Also, yeah, Super Mario 3D Land is, like, one of the only games that used the 3D. Mario 3D Land is a good game. I would like to replay it. I don't know if I'd stream it just because it's kind of, like, it's a pretty safe Mario game. Like, in general, it, it's, it plays it pretty safe, but it is a good game. I mean, I like the new Super Mario Brothers games, so I can't, like, complain about 3D Land being too safe. A 
let's see if this works out. Switched up my thing a little bit. Oh yeah. Also, yeah, New Super Mario Brothers is fucking fantastic. It's it's just good fun. That didn't that didn't fix my internet situation at all. What the fuck is going on? Am I gonna have to like pull out the router or like switch? I might have to switch over. This happened last time I played Pokemon Snap 2. Why is it, why it like? Why is, like, streaming Pokemon Snap, like, guaranteed to fucking kill my internet? I might have to, like, switch over. Because this is not happening. I've dropped, like, nearly 12% of all frames. And that's that's just no good. That just that just doesn't cut it. Maybe I could try closing Steam and Discord. Also, yeah, I think I remember enjoying New Super Mario Brothers 2 a lot when I played it. They're trying to cover up the Mr. Mime situation. See if closing Steam and Discord does anything. That'll that'll save some bandwidth. Not much, but some. Not still like stuttery. I think my favorite new Super Mario Brothers game is you. That's the one I've played the most, is New Super Mario Bros. U. I think I will have to reset the router. Because, like, this is fucking abysmal. There's no reason why my stream test earlier was, like, near perfection. And, like, now that I'm actually streaming, I'm, like, at near, like, 12% dropped frames. 10,000 dropped frames? That shouldn't happen. That doesn't happen on most streams throughout the entire duration of, like, the four or so hours I stream. Also, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. I mean, you gotta keep in mind that I'm also the 3D world head. So, like, the broader level design doesn't bother me. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to reset this thing. I'm gonna have to reset this thing if the stream goes down, sorry. But I'm not dealing with this shit. Reset it. Let's see if that helps. Dude, I fu 3D World is my favorite 3D Mario game, like, straight up. I could see why you would like 3D Land more. I think 3D Land is a bit more snappy. Also, yeah, for sure. 3D World just has, like, godlike design. Level design. Yeah, I love the aesthetics of it a lot. World Bowser is, like, the best lo location they've put in any game ever. Nice work. 
try and play the game. I don't know why they went so hard for the World Bowser map theme. It's literally just a map theme, and it's like one of the best songs I've ever heard in my life. Nice work. 3D World's OST in general is just like probably one of the best things Nintendo has ever put out, straight up. Like, I I would rank 3D World as one of the best video game OSTs like ever. Hell yeah, that's a good thing to ex a a aspire for, I think. Okay, we can make progress now. You make progress in this game so slowly. This really is just like a slow game. But it's fine. I think we do have a good chance to beat this tonight still. As long as I play my cards right. All right. Huh? Did you discover something? Mm -hmm. That I did. I found us a new teleportation point. There's a massive mountain in the heart of... Belusvia Island. Belusiva? I picked up a strong energy reading heat there, high up and hidden in the clouds. Huh? In the clouds? Wait, we're going to teleport into the sky? Uh, not quite. There seems to be a forest so high up on the mountain that it's above the clouds. Oh. Too awesome. Something about it feels mysterious. Even when it's viewed from the sky above, it's hidden by fog. That's double awesome. Let's go already. Ha, <laughs> take it easy, Phil. When you're ready, I'd like you to do some research up there. Discoveries await. Yeah, this kid looks too much like an anime guy to be called Phil. Caden. Alright, mm. elsewhere for I remember this place being really fun to like do pictures in. Yeah, the characters just fade away. Let's go. Joker's tips as small as possible. That's some thick fog. Why did I forget the controls? Okay, here we go. Our connection seems a little spotty too. Hey, Be that's a dope Trevena. Hey, wake up. Hey, wake up. Yeah. Scuttling. Yeah, Trevenant's look really cool. I think Trevenant was Gen 6. What the fuck? Hi, Shift Tree. Yeah. Hey, can you can you look at me? Oh, okay, he's gonna Naruto run away. Well, forget I asked. Oh, that's Esper. I can tell that's Esper, but I can't get a good picture of it. Esper is a funny little cat. Shiftry, Shiftry is okay. Says it's like somewhere up there. Ooh. Gonna wanna hit that crystal bloom. Ah, uh, hi, Drampa. Yeah, you missed Esper, but Esper might appear again in this level. And also, knowing this game, I'll probably have to replay this level. We'll see, though. We'll see. Oh, really? There's Bulbasaur. Yeah! Drampa's, Drampa's name is Dragon Grandpa. Oh, Pancham having fun in the water. 
Oh my god. Summer fun, fellas. Summer fun. It's kind of too early to say it's summer. Because, like, it's so fucking... It, like, it's still, like, kind of cold here in New York. It's still not quite, like, high temperatures yet. But I'm calling it summer anyways because it'll make me feel better. This is, a, this is gonna be the coldest summer in the world. We're gonna get, like, a fucking Australia summer. Where that... Where, like, well... Usually at this time of year, this is when Australia starts getting cold. Because they're on the other side of the fucking world. It's May? Listen, if I'm... If I don't have any school, that's summer. If they didn't want me to assume that, they... They shouldn't have organized elementary school like that. And now that I'm a college student, any break I get, that's summer. Winter break, that's summer. Spring break, that's summer. Every break is just summer. If they didn't want me to, like, associate that. Have no sense of time since finishing high school. I feel that. It doesn't feel like this is the end of a school term still. Like, I had one of my last classes. It still doesn't feel like, oh, yeah. This is, this is the end. It just feels like, oh no, I'll be back tomorrow. But like, by this time next week, I won't be doing shit. I'll be done with all my classes. I won't even be, um, I won't even be doing any final papers or anything. I'll just be done. Yeah, week weekends don't feel real anymore. Also, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm glad I'm vaccinated now. Uh, I probably won't be going too many places, but at the very least I could hang out with my friends who are also vaccinated. That, li that live on the island, at least. I don't think- I don't think me and my friends are gonna be traveling. That's- that's still like- I'm not doing that. I'm not going out of my way to travel. Cause we're not- like... It's not- it's not over. It's not over till it's over. I like Beware. Beware is funny. <laughs> oh, Phil, that's your- that's a fucking issue you need to sort out with God, Phil. God, Trampa just keeps, like, floating around. some ancient ruins. Bulbasaur is great. Bulbasaur is like the best gen 1 starter, I think. A high low tad. That's a much better view of low tad. Bulbasaur is your favorite starter mon. That's a good choice. Bulbasaur is great. I think my favorite starter is Mudkip. But that's partially the Gen 3 nostalgia talking. Also, hi Robin, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Cyndaquil is pretty good. This is a sad looking one. Snivy's, th that's Snivy. Snivy's pretty good. Oh, you can get four star for the sleeping Kecleon. That's like the most advanced Kecleon image that you can conjure. These draft paws fucking suck, except this la the last one's okay. But those first two were pretty ass. Splishy splash in the water. Torchic fan? Fuck yes. Torchic's great. I like all the Gen 3 starters, really. I don't- 
think there's like many starter Pokemon I dislike, but that you also have to keep in mind there's not a lot of Pokemon I dislike in general. Like sometimes I hear people talk about like, ah oh, yeah, this Pokemon is like the worst one and I'm like, damn, what the hell did that guy do to you? A new discovery. Nice work. I'm not a fan of the Galar starters, but you think you Okay, that's fair enough. Nice work. I, I, I like the Galar starters well enough. I'm not a I'm not like huge on any of their evolutions necessarily, but I don't hate them. I know there's some people who fucking hate Score Bunny's final evolution. I have seen so much hatred for that fucking rabbit, and I'm like, damn. That that bitch got it tough. Bunny and Sopple's evolutions are really weird. How could you say that to Gex? How could you say that to Gex? And Teleon, that's Gex. How could you say how could you say that to him? Nice work. Turn into Gex instead. He's working. On it. A new discovery. Well, I stream Gex. I actually do own a PS1 Gex, so theoretically I could. Talion is good, but a little too skinny. It looks like the slightest breeze will blow him away, like a McDonald's napkin. <laughs> nice work. You're, you're gonna stream Gex for me? Nice work. Yeah, I'll give you I'll give you my stream key and you can stream Gex. A new discovery. Nice work. Gex for next charity stream. Is Gex like bad enough? I didn't I is like Gex that bad? I thought, like, Gex was, like, okay, but kind of just, like, 2D platformer schlock. Not, like, great, but not bad. Gex games are good. That's what I thought. I thought they were, like, generally okay. Yep. Only the first game was 2D platformer. Oh, okay. The references date it really hard. Well, that'd be pretty funny. That'd be pretty funny if I'm just playing the game, and then Gex is like, Man, there's a bunch of ghouls around. This is exactly like Ghostbusters 1984. Not the 2016 one. I don't give a shit about that one. I'm too old for that. 3D Gex enemies have some really weird enemies. Call out post for Gex. He's a fucking freak. And I dislike him. Hey. An Egyptian statue head that stretches out of the wall and try to eat you. I think I've had nightmares like that. Family guy type humor. Ah, oh, yo, but what if there was like a Gex cutaway gag where like... If you went to one of the bonus rooms, you'd go in, like, the Take On Me music video, and it'd be, like, a, it'd be, like, the joke in Family Guy where Chris does that. And then you would laugh. Professor! Come on, Professor, tell us what happened. Yes, I was just about to. There's a tremendous amount of energy coming from deep within the forest. It's gotta be an Illumina Pokemon. And I'm almost certain it's connected to the ruins you, you saw nearby. Can you go check it out as soon as you're ready? I think Morgan is kind of like Gex. <laughs> what if I just like pivoted my humor into just being exclusively like Gex? Like all I did was like stupid referential humor. 
I mean, I feel like all streamers, to an extent, do like referential humor, but I could just like fully divulge into it. I could be like a Ray William Johnson type character, where every joke I make is some reference to some movie you don't give a shit about. Where's that reading coming from? Hmm. I'd be playing like Call of Duty or some fucking war game, and I'd just be like, man, guys. You know, honestly, though, honestly, this is exactly like, um, this is, this is exactly like Johnny got his gun, but nobody's died yet. I could start a mediocre band. I could, I could make my own version of your favorite Martian. Okay, I don't remember how I get. I'm sure you could use an Illumina orb. Do I get it to surface by hitting it with apples? Yeah! Okay. Your favorite Morgan. We already make these jokes. We are- I think we are gags. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like making joke like, referential humor has, like, a certain, like, thing to it. Like, there's a certain point where you reach a certain level of obscurity. Like, if you're making reference to, like, a Marvel movie, like, I don't know if that counts as, like, something that's, like, out there and, like, nobody's gonna understand. I feel like uh, that, like, making a joke that references, like, fucking Marvel or something, like, everybody already knows what that, what is up. Yeah, you can be in the band, and if we do any Screamo songs, which we will. This is exactly like the Joker. Like, and, like, I don't think making Joker jokes is enough. I feel like we have to get, like, so obscure and, like, caught up in our own world to, like, truly get it. Gex jokes are relevant at the time, though? I guess so. You got, you got me there. But at that, like, I don't know. I mean, making jokes about, like, stuff that's existed for, like, 30 years prob probably still be relevant in, like, 10. Now, if I started making exclusively meme jokes, like, that could date, I could easily date every stream I do like that. I kind of already like to date the VODs a bit, just to give you a point in history, but, like, if I just made meme jokes all the time, I could definitely just, like, date every single stream I've ever done. That's the, stuff. the chat is food fight. What a sentence. What a sentence to just say. Am I gonna be streaming the new Hotel Transylvania game coming to Switch? I will not. I'm sorry. I can't look at Hotel Transylvania the same way I can't look at Arlo after the video where he didn't he didn't tell me the Furukawa quote in a decent amount of time and it made me sad. What has Outright Games even done? I don't even recognize that studio name. What has Outright Studio made? Or Outright Games? I have to like look into their backlog now. Because I don't even know what they've done. Yeah, Food Fight isn't ugly. Thing. Okay, so they made Jumanji the video game, Ben 10 Power Trip, Race with Ryan, Paw Patrol on a Roll, Paw Patrol Mighty Pups, Adventure Time Pirates thing. This is just like a shovelware studio. This is just a shovelware studio. That is what Outright Games is. Way forward for kids. That's a pretty. That's a pretty good one. Let's do this.
My favorite video game company, Gay Forward. I still remember fucking, like, months back when Nintendo was like, Oh yeah, we got a great new game coming from your favorite studio way forward. And then it was like a fucking shitty shovelware Bakugan game. Like, everybody forgot that Way Forward mostly makes shovelware garbage because they're too obsessed with Shantae. Like, that's their only IP. They got, like, that. They had, like, Mighty Switch Force, and that's, like, it. So, like, I don't know why they thought, like, like, people were making up, like, oh, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna make a new Wario Land game, or, oh, they're gonna make, like, a new Donkey Kong game. But, like, like, that's not what Way Forward does. Way Forward doesn't make a lot of, like, original games. They just make, like, shovelware stupid doo-doo shit. Like, I'm, so I'm sorry if, like, someone's watching this, whether, like, live or on YouTube, and, like, Way Forward's your favorite studio. I, like, Way Forward's kind of a stupid company. They don't make a lot of good games. They, like, they make, they make, like, the occasional original thing. They're making a Ruby game. Yeah. I don't understand Ruby. Okay, like... I feel like every time I hear about Ruby, it's like at the end of a season and all the Ruby fans are talking about how the latest season was just so bad and Rooster Teeth just went too far this time. And then, like, people, like, keep watching it. And it's like, how many times do you need to be hurt? There, there's gotta be a certain point where you just decide it's not worth it anymore. Like... So there's gotta be- there's gotta be a point where you just stop watching. Yeah, Rooster Teeth's just not a very good company. Ro Rooster Teeth's just not a very good company in general from what I've heard. Remember when, like, Rooster Teeth, like, what was the thing? What was that? There was some, like, Rooster Teeth controversy, like, a couple, couple things back. It was, like, something, like, Rooster Teeth was, like, very obviously, like, sponsored by a company, and they started, like, shitting on other reviewers who were not having a positive opinion of, like, the thing they were sponsored by. The only thing, like, I didn't watch Ruby because I thought it looked kind of ugly. I thought it looked like early, like, MMD stuff, but, like, not, like, charming. Like, you know how early MMD, like, Miku models were, like, kind of charming? Even though they were very basic? Ruby was like that, but they, like, sucked out the charm of it. That's what Ruby looks like. I will say, though, I will say, though, I remember the season one theme song of Ruby, I remember that one being pretty good. It stole assets from MMD model create? What the fuck? I mean, I'm not surprised. I am disappointed, though. There's guys in the Rooster Teeth staff who admitted to making the game of freaking out random women on the street, and those guys are still employed. Yep. What? That's like fucking... I... I don't even know what to say to that. That's just like... How do you let that happen? How do you just, like, continue to cultivate an environment where, like, people do that, and then everybody's just like, and it's awesome that they do this. And it's cool, and we love them, and they're our valued employee. The British guy is really homophobic. Listen, telling me there's a British guy in Rooster Teeth means nothing to me.
I don't know what connect the hots is. But I'm scared. Brings us back to the idea that the events depicted in Lentil's Legends actually happened. Don't the legends say Pokemon warded off some big huge disaster? What do you think it was? Evidence suggests it was a meteorite. About 2,000 years ago, what we know now is the Tellural meteorite arrived. According to the legends of what happened then, the Illuminous Pokemon with power was scattered all over the region, making the Pokemon of Lentil glow. An interesting idea, isn't it? But... But here's my theory. What really caused the Pokemon of Lentil to glow was, in fact, the Tellura Meteorite itself. And Illumina Pokemon are the ones that were most heavily affected by the Meteorite. So, the legends are wrong? That's what we're trying to figure out. Which is why our research is so important. So they, they talked a bunch of shit at me. How it goes? Hey, how are things? Research going okay? Listen, I know you can take the Neo 1 off to other islands, but why not try snapping some photos here? You may already be familiar with the Pokemon around here, but I bet you'll find new sides to them if you look. By the way, just choose the icon at the top left of the research camp menu to get started. Appreciate it. Give it a try when the mood strikes you. No pressure. Todd is a soup character. <laughs> yeah, sure. Thanks. We could we could check out what's going on in camp. Why not? We'll take a we'll take we'll take a diversion. Why does Todd look like Todd How? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know why I like... He just straight up looks like Todd Howard. Sorry, Meowth. I have to get a good picture of you being in pain. ever make a new Pokemon Troze game. I mean, that's kind of what- they did Pokemon Battle Troze, and I had a lot of fun with that. Um, but it was kind of- it was kind of, like, more stripped down. They didn't have, like, much story in that. But I- I, I liked it decent enough. And then they did Shuffle, which was kind of like a spiritual successor, but then, like, it was- it was messed up by all the microtransaction nonsense, and it's really sad. Because I wanted to like Shuffle. I put a lot of time into it. But just... It's upsetting. It's upsetting. Oh, I can't oh, really? Pokemon Rumble's pretty good. I played Pokemon Rumble Blast on the 3DS. I like that. I should stream Pokemon Rumble. I think that'd be pretty fun. Yeah, Pokemon Cafe Mix was, like, it's, like, a decent diversion, but, like, not much more than that. I feel like you play it for five minutes, you've played the entire game, basically, because it's just like, oh, put, put, put a circle around Pokemon. Also, I do, I, I, like, remember that. I remember hearing about the Pokemon Rumble mobile game, and then, like, a month later, it was gone. So I have, I've never seen footage of that game. I've never played it for myself. So, well. How 
it go. <laughs> I need to stream No More Heroes 2. I plan to stream No More Heroes 2 very soon. I, I talked about that potentially being a May game. I don't know if that's still gonna happen, but I'd like to. I'd like to make it happen this month. But I, well, first of all, I still need to buy the fucking game. A new discovery. Nice work. Uh, I, 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 you should stream Travis Strikes again mostly because you don't want to play it my, yourself. I don't really have any interest in Travis Strikes again. Like, I'm probably just going to read a wiki article on it that talks about, like, the plot details. That'll be important for the next game. Because I kind of just don't care to play it. It just, se it just seems like it's, like, fairly mediocre. But I mean, they 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 took it with stride that it was kind of reviewed, kind of mediocrely. They were like, "And this will be seen as a cult classic in many years." Yeah, I've heard the story is like very important, which is kind of like, eh. Once again, I'll probably like look up the story. Maybe I'll watch like all the cutscenes. Also, yeah, you heard right. Welcome, Walga Balga. Welcome, welcome. Nice work. Nice work. Yeah, I like that Pikachu. You imported the game from France. Ooh. Nice Think you work. could get away with watching cutscenes? I could probably do that then, and I'll be, uh, that'll be your homework for the stream. It's not awful. Travis strikes again. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I didn't hear that it was a bad game. It was just kind of mediocre. It's fun multiplayer. Ooh. That's always a plus. Jeez. Man, I can hear Star yelling in the other room. Like, during her stream. So, like, sh crazy things happen in Minecraft that I'm, like, not even aware of. Like, I don't think I ever get as spicy as Star does on any stream. Like, I, you can probably hear Star sometimes, like, through my microphone. Because, like, this is supposed to be, like, a room microphone. But I use it as normal. They had it back here, Brian! <laughs> oh, no wonder. That guy scares me. I'm, I'm scared of people who have pure white eyes, because that's not normal. My doctor said that's a disease. He didn't specify which one, but he told me to stay safe out there. Henry is the best character in No More Heroes 2? Ooh. I'm excited to get to that then. I've heard some mixed things about No More Heroes 2. I've heard some people like it more than the original, and other people think it's like the worst game in the series. So, <laughs> uh, I'm excited to see. Uh, usually when this kind of thing happens, I end up falling like right in the middle. So it'll probably balance up, balance balance together and I'll just be like, it was okay. Think they're evenly matched? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I know to get the Illumina Pokemon here, there's gonna be a fucking lobster dude that I have to bop early on. Where is he? 
Does he not appear yet? Do I need to, like, unlock him? Okay, I have not seen a lobster. We might be in trouble. Where the hell does the professor want me to go, then? <laughs> okay. Clearly this was not the way to go. The professor is not giving me what I want. Oh, uh, he's like upset. I've n I've never like done this and had the professor be upset at me. At the very least, No More Heroes 2 is guaranteed to be a fun game if it's at least if it's at least as fun as the original. Oh my god. Also, yeah, the Danganronpa OST is pretty good. So where do we go next? We got the Illumina Pokemon here, we got the Illumina Pokemon there, so it's just these two, but there's no lobster here yet. And I'm on level two. So I think I have to do the volcano first. Maybe? Do I? Progression in this game kind of is stupid. They improve the gameplay a lot in most aspects. Only pet peeve is right sick as in camera. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it always comes down to money, doesn't it? We should just- I- like, I think we should just reach a point in society where we get everything for free in any shop. I think we could develop society to a point where we can just do this. I think 1 and 2 are like 20 each on the Switch, which isn't terrible, but um, this is, it's a beefy price for a game. That's definitely like a bit too high to be like an impulse purchase. So I have to do the course again and go to a route that leads to a cave with blue lava. <laughs> Wanna spoil the game so bad now? Don't! I still need to play! I still need to play No More Heroes 2. Uh, I would be extremely thrilled to hear the divorce reason, though. But if it's like if it's like important to the story, that actually like I want to I want to play the game even more, because I think the idea that the divorce is important to the story makes it even funnier. Oh shit, Talonflame! No. Oh, they say at the end of No More Heroes 1. Oh, I, f I forgot. I forgot then. Tony Stark dies in No More Heroes 2. You, bro, what the fuck? What the fuck? I'm just, I'm just trying to live my life and you're spoiling, you're spoiling the game. Yeah, you can say, you can say, I already streamed No More Heroes 1, uh, but I will say, if you're on the VOD and you don't want to know, 
um, like, tune out chat, I will not say it out loud. And if you're in Twitch chat right now, uh, I'm just gonna assume you, you're giving express permission for the spoiler. Yeah, it's like, it's like in a Nitro Red video, where he, t he tells you this is the spoiler segment, uh, skip to this part in the video, except I'm not gonna do that. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah! That's pretty funny. Man, imagine, imagine being, well, I can't say it out loud, because it's spoilers. And so, like... Yeah, No More Heroes is like an old game, but No More Heroes 3 comes out soon. So people probably won't want spoilers for that. People will probably be more sensitive to No More Heroes spoilers right now since the game, the third game, is coming soon. Charmander's on the lava. <laughs> Burn! Clearly the blue lava is less deadly if I can throw on it. Nice. Oh, I heard him. I heard that guy. Yeah, this does kind of just look like fucked up water. It might just be fucked up water. Because it's not burning my apples. Either that or they just, they, it's just a very distinct, oh no, wait, it is lava. No More Heroes 1 might be the only game where the final boss fight takes place in a motel parking lot. This is where Gatorade comes from. Well, Chaos is the first fight that takes place in a motel parking lot, but Perfect Chaos doesn't take place in a motel parking lot. It takes place in the general Station Square area. Is caramel any good? Caramel's, like, decent. I don't know if I've ever had caramel ice cream, but I think caramel's alright. Make <laughs> Travis wear an I Love Pits shirt. Alright, I'm just gonna say it. Travis wearing the I Love Tits shirt is infinitely less embarrassing than Elon Musk going on Saturday Night Live as Wario. I don't feel like we've talked enough about how embarrassing uh, Elon Musk on Saturday Night Live it has been. So I'm gonna say it now, it was pretty embarrassing. Oh my god, smiling! This game is great. <laughs> I haven't bothered learning much about Elon's performance because I know SNL is just banking on hate clicks at this point. Oh no, absolutely. I wouldn't tell anyone to go out of their way to watch the Elon Musk Saturday Night Live skit. I, like, watched the Wario bit, and I was like, wow. This is really bad. And I kind of just played into their hand. I, like, absolutely, like, farming for cli hate clicks is, like, probably the only reason they would put, um... Elon Musk on Saturday Night Live. 
It really did. It really did look like a nostalgia. It looks like the, a combination of a nostalgia critic bit and a map pack bit. Like it was a combination of like game theory and nostalgia critic. Nice work. A new discovery. Nice work. Great timing. Great timing. It was literally a dorkly bit nice from 2007. I mean, it could probably be a dorkly bit from now. Dorkly still does, like, the same shit, pretty much. <laughs> dorkly, dorkly still does, like, what if Mario said a swear type bit? I, like, I've, I'm, like, kind of confused what even happened with Dorkly, because I thought, like, they went under because College Humor went under. But, like, they're just, like, back now inexplicably, and they still make the same exact bit. Huh. Travis Touchdown watches Dorkly. <laughs> Yo, Travis Touchdown watches, like, Dorkly, where, like, Mario says fuck and, like, has sex, and he'd be, like... Yes! This is what I aspire to! This is the most awesome thing I've ever seen. He really does watch, like, weird Newgrounds Mario parodies. Yo, he watched the Dr. Mario Brental Foss video, where, like, Dr. Mario's dick is out, and he's like, Yeah! Yeah! Now this is video content. I can't believe those there were ruins that deep inside. They must have been built by people too, right? Mm-hmm. Right you are, and most likely with some special purpose in mind. So. As for the big hole we saw on the wall, I picked up an Illumina Pokemon's energy coming from inside. <gasps> Where do you suppose the hole leads? I wouldn't be surprised if there were a tunnel all the way up to a far-off volcano. You think there's a Pokemon that uses that tunnel to get around? What kind of Pokemon would do that? We'll have to see for ourselves. Good luck on this next expedition. Travis has an iPod with new Brental Floss, only Brental Floss songs on it. <laughs> the post that says he'd cry at the end of Undertale and then immediately Google Toriel Hentai is the best description of him you've ever heard. God. Okay, like, what the fuck is up with Brental Floss, though? I don't- I don't want to start drama with the Brental Floss fandom, but, like, I remember, like, when I went to, like, Brental Floss's Twitter at some point, he had, like, in his bio that he cringes at his old Brental Floss videos, but then he started doing those video game with lyric videos again, and, like, is it not just, like, the same thing? Did, like, are, like, Brittle Floss's videos evolving, or is he still doing the same, like, what if Dr. Mario made a song and it was about the penis? Not, not to start drama, I'm sure you're a great guy, Brittle Floss, but I must admit I'm a little confused. Alright, Illumina spot time. I like those, these, these Illumina spots are basically just the boss battles of this game. Blentful Floss. Does anyone want to cringe instantly? Uh, how, are you, how, are, how are you getting the cringe across? What, what's going to make me cringe? It's very hard to make me cringe. I forget how you're supposed to get the uh, pictures here. Oh my god, I do remember epic rap battles of history. I remember like a year back, like people were just making YTPMVs of epic rap battles of history. The Barack Obama versus Mitt Romney one. That's like the most impact that epic rap battles of history has ever had on me, because I never watched it. 
<laughs> you listen to the Mario Bros. vs. Wright Brothers and never turn them on again. <laughs> Watch some parodies of them. I think you're supposed to hit them with something? Maybe the apples? There was a... Epic Rap Battles of History parody with the I had to do it to him guy and the let's get the day started guy. Oh yeah, the the animes one. I like watched like a video essay on like anime recently and like part of the problem with like anime that they ran into was like they started doing these epic mean rap battles and they worked on them for like two years and by the time they came out like all the memes in those videos were like outdated because the internet changed so much in that time that was like when the irony era of the internet started you remember that point in the internet where it was like over the course of like a year everyone started indulging in like incredibly ironic and like self-aware like meme humor that was kind of, that was like, that was the era that like these anime videos was coming out in. And they, they, like, they just didn't perform well. Apparently there was one that was so bad, it was like One Direction versus like Backstreet Boys or something. I don't think it was Backstreet Boys. No, it was Five Seconds of Summer. I don't know why the fuck I said Backstreet Boys. I just couldn't think of any other boy bands. But it was like One Direction versus Five Seconds of Summer and it was so bad that they didn't release it on YouTube. And they just, like, didn't release them. I think that was also, like, right after, like, fucking One Direction broke up. So, like, it was extra irrelevant. I don't know if Five Seconds of Summer is still around. As far as I'm concerned, five... 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 F as far as I'm concerned, it's been at least five seconds already. So... They are? Okay. That makes sense. I don't like pay attention to like popular music anymore. I don't like listen like whenever I listen to the radio, it's like in my parents' car and they're just putting on like bad rock. Five seconds of summer is what summer is like in Ireland. <laughs> one Daft Punk album. And it was it was a good one. It was a good one. I need to listen to more Daft Punk. Is that Daft Punk are considered an inspiration. Yeah, I remember Around the World. I remember people were talking about how messed up it is that Around the World by Daft Punk sounds a little bit like Metalhead from the Donkey Kong Country cartoon. And all I gotta say about that is that the Donkey Kong Country cartoon is a French-Canadian cartoon. And uh, Around the World by Daft Punk. Daft Punk is a French band. So that's all I gotta say about that. Are we just gonna start saying Around the World in chat? Around the world, around the world. Honestly, like, those are some pretty inspiring lyrics, though. The reading from those two Pokemon is gone. I guess that's it for now. Unironically, like, bring me to life? That's respectable. That kind of, like, emo shit, like, that was the kind of shit I grew up with. Because, like, one of my sisters is, like, big. And not, not Star, the other one. Really big into, uh, like, that kind of, like, emo punk music. It's not necessarily my thing, 100%, but I do like a good Linkin Park song. Like, Linkin Park was kind of considered cringe for a bit, 
But then everybody realized they were good again. Listen to shit. Have you guys ever listened to Clowncore? That that's 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 Joey music. If you guys ever want to listen to Joey music, just look into Clowncore. Or what was their name? I think it was Clowncore. Let's do this. They rele they released a song called Witch Pussy. And that's all that's all I gotta say about that. I'm doing so good at research. It's great. Have not listened to Clowncore. I thought you meant a genre. <laughs> no, Clowncore is a band, I think. If that is that their name? I'm gonna have to look it up. Actually, because maybe their name isn't Clowncore. I'm, I'm jealous of all these other streamers that are playing Resident Evil 8. I don't have any means to play Resident Evil 8. Clowncore got their dick out in a video? Oh, shit. That, yeah, then watch out if you look into Clowncore. This is Stadia. Oh, I could, I could play it on Stadia. That would be a fucking disaster. Cause it'd be like, I'd be playing at like 144p on my Stadia, and then like the stream would be like, consistently at like 300 bitrate. And that would, that would be it. Another island, another amazing Illumina yep. Pokemon. That's right, just like the travelogue said. Every part of Lentil is home to its own Illumina Pokemon. Question is, how could Captain Vince have found that out? But... He only wrote about meeting two Illumina Pokemon, right? Yes, and yet he also wrote that there were four. Hmm, mysteries just keep piling up. Indeed, that's what makes this so intriguing. Yeah, Sad Boy acoustic music does nothing for me. I like a good acoustic song. Um, but it's gotta be smart. Exclusively listen to Burning Down the House by Talking Heads. That's genius. I want to listen to more Talking Heads. I listened to the first album from King Crimson, which is, like, not, like, same genre, but, like, same, like, weird guy, like, uh, sense of music. I'd like to listen to some, to some Talking Heads. I've heard they're great. Talking Heads also did Once in a Lifetime, right? That's a really good song, too. Oh, what the hell do you guys want? I'm just an ordinary guy. Adrian Blue was in King Crimson and Talking Heads. Ooh. Oh, that's some, that's some that's some common ground at least. Even if it was just in the '80s. All right, like, well, I know Kim Cr King Crimson is still around, but is like Talking Heads still around? Does like Talking Heads still do stuff? Hey there, Shutterbugs. Remember how I suggested you try doing a little photography here at camp? Yeah, thanks for the tip. It was cool seeing the camp through fresh Thanks. eyes. In that case, here's another idea. Why not try starting at it from a different spot? That ought to give you a new perspective. Uh, a different spot? Like where? Look. How about right there? That's different enough, isn't it? You can take a different route around the camp, depending on whether you start here or by the lab. Ooh, I'll have to give it a try later then. Uh. Sounds good. Just use the icon in the upper left of the research camp menu to start. Being more deeply attuned to everything happening right around you will make you a better photographer. Anyway, have fun and take all the photos you like. What? Talking Heads broke up a long time ago, but David Byrne still does stuff? Oh. That's... that's nice to hear, at least. Good for, good for David Byrne. 
<laughs> Dog Dogma. Did you know? Okay, so I have to do undersea. That's the last Illumina Pokemon I'm missing. I love when Atticus's puppy is here. Take care. Okay, there has to be a fucking thing around here. Where is this goddamn lobster? If you don't do meme reviews, what do you even do? I don't know. Uh, lead a fulfilling life? The concept of a meme review is like, I, gu I guess this could apply to any media, but like specifically like memes, like you have no idea how to gauge like if a meme is going to last for a long time or if a meme's just going to die in like a week. Like there are some, like the meme economy is so fucked up these days. So yeah, there's supposed to be a Claw Itzer here. That I'm supposed to be able to launch a Warbat. But I don't see it. Progression in this game feels so arbitrary sometimes. It just feels like the developer kind of just like, we're like, yeah. Uh, you have to progress like this and we're doing this specifically to pad out the game. Morgan, will you do meme reviews? Yeah, sure. What what meme do you want me to review? Starting a new YouTube channel where you review memes based on if you can make a Tetris Worlds on PS2 meme out of it. That's a that's a that's God's work you're doing, honestly. Give me, all the late give me all the latest memes to review. If there's like a TikTok meme in there, I won't know it. Big Chungus. Well, you know, there's, some there's something simple in life about the pleasure of uh, the Big Chungus. He's, he's like Bugs Bunny, but like a fat version. And he says, that'll hold them all right in a mocking tone to the silly Elmer Fudd character. And I think, like, there's some there's some value in that. There's some value in it. It's a bit overdone. You know, everybody thinks they can make a good Big Chungus meme. Uh, but it's, it's just not reasonable. That Whalmer just fucking annihilated that dude. <laughs> How about l that love or hate Mario he's spitting real facts here meme from two years ago? That one's pretty good. That one's pretty good. That's the one- that's the one where he's like Gangster Mario, isn't it? Well, not Gangster Mario, but he's in like the rap outfit from like the Mario pinball commercial. I am Chungus from Dank Memes. Oh, that's pretty funny. That is pretty funny, though. Yeah, I gotta activate this guy, but he wasn't showing up earlier. Why, why the, where the hell were you, man? Ooh, it, did he shoot at me? Was that a bullet he was trying to put in my head? Or am I just like an idiot? That could be a possibility too. Really? 
Oh, yep, he's shooting. Terrible shot. I love this. If you get like a close up look at like Love Disc, you can kind of see its scales. Almost done. But I don't think I can do anything. Oh, these are great man teams. Is it Mantine? I, I've heard both Mantine and Mantine used before. So, like, which one is official? Which one would Ash Ketchum say out loud? Lovely oh. creatures of the sea are always good. Yeah, you can't go wrong with a good sea creature. <laughs> oh, I said it like Mantine. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm so proud of you, Doug, for doing that well at Balloon, Balloon's Tower Defense 5. Man, I haven't played a Balloon's game in so long. Balloon's was dope. That was probably one of the few Flash games that I got, like, really into. I play a fuck ton of Balloon's. There was just something so satisfying about setting up a bunch of monkeys and then they'd attack the Balloon's. Because really, who the hell likes a balloon anyways? I think I'm gonna have to use the bathroom real quick also. Yeah, I'm gonna be right back. I need to get a BRB song. But I hope you guys are have, enjoying the stream. I'm having a lot of fun. This has been fun. I'm glad I'm getting back into the swing of things. We love photos. Photos are fun. Um, let me get Grinch up. Nintendo. Welcome to new Nintendo Switch. Ah, uh, okay, I really gotta go. Um, put up, put up, uh, Sonic Adventure 2 music. Why not?
Oh, cool. The stream died while I was gone. Multiple. What the fuck? Hey, what the hell? Sorry about that. I don't know why that happened. Um. Hello. Hello, everyone. I'm here now. I'm, I'm back. I don't know why it went offline. It's weird. Twitch ads are the worst. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I went down twice? What the fuck? It's so bizarre. So bizarre. Oh, you got a shampoo commercial. Oh, you do gotta treat your hair well. I've been trying to keep my hair well. I'm, like, doing this thing where, like, one side of my hair is, like, more pronounced than the other. Unfunny DoorDash commercial. Isn't that all of them? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Also, hi, Noel. Welcome. Welcome. I just came back from the bathroom and apparently my stream was dying in the middle. Yeah, haircut, haircut does wonders. Haircut does wonders. I support- I support your haircut endeavors. Honestly, I think we just beat this game tonight, right? I don't think there's enough levels left where I could- I- I think, like, I couldn't beat this game tonight. He wants me to take another look at the lentil seafloor. Can I unlock- Can I unlock the fucking claw it, sir, to go- go primal or whatever? I mostly get haircuts to, like, shape my hair. Because if I don't get a haircut, like, my hair just, like, becomes, like, a bush. And, like, I don't mind the bush look too much, but it, it, I, I was kind of reaching a point where it was a bit overbearing. Oh, there you are. Get over here. Do the orb. Yeah, you're gonna break down that wall. Yeah, this is just like Pink Floyd's The Wall. This is- that was just like- That was a Nostalgia Critic level critique of the wall. Like, yo, he's gonna break down the wall. Just got muffins, what's up? Oh, hell yeah, what muffins did you get? Uh, I got Claw Itzer to work, finally. Also, no, yeah, that makes complete sense. I know, I know plenty of people who want, like, long hair, but they don't want to be perceived a certain way, so they're, like, waiting on it. Oh, wait, I had to... I had to scan. I had to scan? Fuck. There we go. Come on, Claude, sir. Are you gonna fucking go? Thank you. So I'm gonna have to scan for this secret path. There we go. So we're gonna get the fourth Illumina Pokemon. Which is nice. 
I think there's like six Look in the, the game. Shines down here. It's the best doing pretty good. Photography. Pod, how many times have you taken a dive just to do underwater picture taking? Because that wasn't in the original snap. I guess, I guess Todd's been busy in the years since. Is that like something? No, wait, that's just like a coral. I thought like, oh, maybe that could be a Pokemon, no? We got a couple nice. ball whales over here. Hi, artillery. Ooh, they like that. Ooh. Wait, hold on. I frillish. Where's Kyogre? That's a good question. I heard that there's like legendaries in this game, but I'm assuming all of them are post game because I haven't seen any of them. And I don't know if I'm gonna do post game on stream to be honest. Because I already played this game a bunch on my own. So I think like once I finish this on stream, I'm probably done with it for a bit. Frelish does look a little bit like a tiny clown. Frelish looks like the ghost of a Victorian child. Why, sir, you mean da? What is this Luminion doing? It's like sniffing at the ground. Want to hold Frillish like a dejected cat. <laughs> like these whales? I want to hold Whalmer like a beach ball. <coughs> Ooh. I said it like the other day, but I'm so glad I can just sneeze and not assume I have the Rona. I'm just allowed to sneeze now. I'm a sneeze streamer now. I will be formally sneezing on every single stream. What you doing, Cray Dilly? Yeah, welcome to the sneeze stream. Cool. Oh, this is a very kind frillish. Glissopod, look at me. Look at me. Bitch. Fucker. No. Oh, it's it's sleeping standing up. It's one of the ancient ruins. Ooh. Pretty big shot. Hi, Cradilly. Are you... What... What the fuck are you doing? Get out of the way! Move! <laughs> Look at how slow it's moving. It does have a tail. This is like Fergus's tail. Fergus is like a stub tail. Alright. 
We did it. Nah, this is a way bigger, better picture. This will probably get me more points, but I think this one is more kind. But I'll pick this one. Is that, like, part of Frillish's, like, lore? Is that Frillish drowns people? I thought it was just, like, a ghost jellyfish. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Jellicent capsizes ships. So what you're saying is, theoretically, Jellicent could have caused the Pokemon Titanic. It stings people and drowns them. Oh my god. A new discovery. Mm, nice work. Didn't Shadow Lugia already do that? I don't know if that's comparable because Lugia just kind of like picked up a ship and then accidentally dropped it. I think that's a little different than a Titanic situation. Titanic is like they're already they're still in the water. Titanic was caused by the mummy's curse. <laughs> That's my favorite Titanic theory now. The Pharaoh's wrath knew no bounds. Male Jellicent is just the fake type guy. Did you pull off some special feat again? Oh, the professor's been frantically analyzing the data you sent back. Professor. professor, did you figure anything out? Yep. I may have. Do you, do you remember those ruins on the seafloor? I'm certain now that they're connected to the Illumina Pokemon. And as if to prove it, we've picked up some more energy readings that we've been seeing. They're coming from the ocean depths beyond the ruins. Guess that means Captain Vince couldn't have gone it on in there a hundred years yeah. ago. Good thing we've got the Neo One. Time to get to work. Also, good night, Sebastian. Thanks for hanging out. Remember the Mummy movie from like 2018? That was supposed to be the start of the Dark Universe. Clearly, didn't work out because I hadn't heard anything about that. I mean, I don't keep up with pop culture in general. I'm a, I'm a casual. Sleep well and dream of Whalmer. That's ideal. Alright, another Illumina Pokemon to get. Here's Wishy Washy. Wishy-washy I remember being pretty easy. This is like one of the easier Illumina Pokemon to do. I think literally all you have to do is throw some orbs at these goddamn fish. The new one's fine too. I think that was the Illumina Pokemon. Oh, thank god your stupid ship is Go safe, after. Professor. Doesn't matter if my life's in danger as long as the ship's okay. That's what you sound like, Professor Mirror, okay? Yeah, Wishy Washy is a pretty fun design. A 
It's funny also that in its base form, Wishy Washy has the lowest base stat total of any Pokemon. But when it's in school form, its stats are like crazy high. Hey, maybe try making all that Wishy Washy glow. What do you think I was doing, Phil? You think I was just throwing orbs for a laugh? I literally was a step ahead of you, Phil. One of your mons and your Pokemon Moon team? I've never gotten to use Wishy Washy, but it's pretty good. <laughs> Where am I? What year is it? Well, hi, Jen. It's 2021, and this is a fish. Do you enjoy fishes? Then you're gonna love this year. This is the year of the fish. I think some people were starting some shit about this being the year of the bowl or whatever. It's actually the year of fish. Mainly because I can't- I can't deal with, uh, people who are a little too enthusiastic about it being the year of the bowl, and that's all I'm gonna say. It's the year of the gamer. <laughs> year of the bullshit. LOL! Yo, this would be perfect time for James Rolfe to bring back, you know what's bullshit. In 2077, what makes a Mario a Mario? Italian. Okay, and then getting him again is pretty easy, because you just gotta hit the wishy-washy when they're in the schools. And that makes it easier to get them. Big fan of fishing for fishies. Deep sea underwater stuff is always cool. I just like this shade of blue. Where's Pikachu? But do you think Pikachu's gonna be under the water? Do you think this is a, like, habitat for Pikachu to live in? It is true, though, what Noelle said. Pikachu is dead. And we miss him every day. This wishy-washy form is almost, like, blimp-shaped. Do, like, people still ride in blimps? Or did that one- or did, like, the Hindenburg ruin that for everyone? Do blimps, like, still exist? Can you take a blimp ride? Hold on. There's like 10 blimps left in the world. No, Germa didn't go in a blimp. That was a hot air balloon. How about blimp? I'm gonna look up blimp prices because I want to know if I can buy tickets for a blimp. There's less than 10 blimps in existence. Giant blimp-like airships are making the comeback. Hybrid air vehicles blimp costs around 40 million to buy. Well, no, how much does it cost to ride on them? Yeah, blimp rental. How much does it cost to rent a blimp? Anticipate prices will range from $150 to $1,200 per day, depending on size and amount. Oh my god. I mean, I guess a blimp is more, like, fancy than a plane is. You know, you're gonna have a lot more you can do on a blimp than a plane. There's 25 blimps. Damn. Endangered species. Yeah, that is that. I thought- I, th I, I straight up just thought blimps went extinct. Jen's gonna invent the whole new blimp.
We need some blimp breeding programs. Honestly. Honestly. We're just ruining the natural blimp population. I wonder if, like, like... What if part of the reason blimps are gone is because they're, like, terrible for the environment? That could be it. I don't know, though. Like, how do, how do blimps stay going? Blimp 2. It's probably it. Yeah, I can't imagine, like, for some reason in my mind, like, I can't imagine a blimp being very environmentally friendly. Aren't they full of hydrogen, which is super flammable? Ah, uh, made of helium, yeah. Oh, that's probably why there's only, like, 25 left. I, like, isn't there, like, a helium shortage going on? Haven't we just, like, exhausted most of the Earth's helium? Blimps are fucked up looking. Woo! He's circling. Or wait. Yeah, he's circling. How do they, like, determine the gender of the wishy-washy when it's in school form? Because isn't there, like, 15,000 of them? Not that many, but there's a lot of them. You inhaled all the helium to make your voice funny for a full hour. Ugh, come on. We, we need helium. What do they even use helium for? Like, aside from blimps, what is helium for? Like, I know they're in, like, balloons, but, like, is helium, like, an important resource? Is that why we're not, like, allowed to use them in balloons anymore? It's determined by popular vote among the fish. Funny voice. I guess you're right. It is used for a very funny voice. That was quite a surprise. Science stuff, probably? I'm gonna look that up. This is like a I'm look things up upstream. Movies. We're doing some education. Come on back when you can. Very dangerous if you inhale too much helium. Oh, I mean, too much of a good thing is always going to be a bad thing. Helium usage. How do how do I, how do we use helium? Helium gas is used to inflate blimps, scientific balloons, and party balloons. Okay. So, quick question: What determines if a balloon is a scientific balloon? Like, what's the difference between a scientific balloon and a party balloon? It's also used to pressurize the fuel tanks of liquid-fueled rockets and in supersonic wind tunnels. Weather balloons? Oh, I forgot about weather balloons. That's on me. That's on me. What do weather balloons do? NASA's hogging all the damn helium. Science is a party. Hey, cheers to that. You know, I was, like, very bad at them, but probably some of the most fun classes I've taken in college were, like, science classes. It's, like, almost unfortunate that I just don't have it in me to be a STEM student, because, honest to God, those science classes were, like, a lot of fun. Why am I not allowed to use... Oh, Illumina Phenomena. What do you mean? He's glowing red. What more do you need? All right. Like, so the science- Like, I always had, like, these fucking amazing, like, science professors who were just, like, very nice and very funny, and they were just having a great time with their job. And it was clear they were passionate. And, like, not that I have, like, a lot of teachers who are, like, cardboard these days, but, like, once again, just some of the most fun professors I've ever had were the science professors, but I'm just not cut out to be a STEM student. If any of you in the crowd are STEM students, you're smarter than I am. I couldn't do it. I can barely do, like, basic fucking math. 
I need to turn on a light also. Hold on. Come on. Oh god. If I was to become a STEM student, I would be oh, extremely depressed, just like you. I guess, I guess so. I mean, it would depend. It, it would have to be something I'm really passionate about. Which, I don't know if there's a science I am that passionate about. You have teachers that are actual cardboard cutouts. You just push them over if you don't want class to happen. Yeah, that's a little life hack they don't teach you in school. The idea of going to college for psychology or art like you want to is kind of scary. College is a very- it can be very scary, and like, it's not for everyone. I know like, especially in America, like, fucking college is like very pushed upon people, but like, it's not gonna be for everyone, and you can still make your way in this world without a college degree. Despite the fact that everyone will make it out to be like, oh no, you can't do shit. You can't do shit without a college degree. Like, I'm gonna graduate college, I'm gonna get an English degree, and what am I gonna do with that? It's, it, it, like, most college degrees are just, like, formalities. Unless you're going into, like, a more specific field, like, it's just a formality. Like, I'm probably gonna go into, like, journalism, and they're not gonna give a shit that I don't have a full journalism major. They're just gonna say, oh, you're a good writer? Good. I mean, obviously, it's going to be more complicated than that, but, like, in general, like, your degree doesn't really matter as much. It, like, getting the degree is good, but, it, like, most of the time, it doesn't even matter what degree you get. Unless you're going into a more specialized field. Also, yeah, art fields are very much more open to people without college. It can be hard in the online space to get that clout, but... Um, you know. I'm sure you'll have the pleasure before long, Phil. Anyway, by the look of things, the tele teller meteorite affected a per very wide area. Yeah, Professor, just like you thought. Wonder if the nearby Pokemon made it through okay. Judging by how far the effect spread, I would assume the impact caused tremendous damage. They died. But we haven't found a shred of evidence to support that assumption. That people died. Ah. Yeah, isn't it weird? Do you think that Illumina Pokemon we saw just now was the last one? Good question. I've actually just discovered something remarkable on that front. Let's discuss it once we're all back together. College is a scary awesome. idea. I'm tempted to write out the fact that you got into a vocational cop right. high school. That's, like, fair enough. The travel lock. For uh, for any of my younger Uncharted high school, territory. uh, like, high school viewers, like, don't, like, if you don't, if you don't think college is right for you, even if you get into, like, college in, like, your first year, you think, like, it sucks, like, don't worry about it. Yeah, Todd Snap is in this game. Todd Snap from the original is in this game. What, we, what have we observed from the Illumina Pokemon we've encountered on these four islands? That they're all gorgeous, for one thing. Every time we've come in contact with one, we've also detected energy readings at different locations throughout the region. Could the Pokemon be communicating with each other? That's a possibility, but there's more. So far, we've picked up five energy readings, and we've finally pinpointed the location of the fifth. Does that mean we're coming up on our last destination? I suspect so, yeah. Take a look. Here's our next and final island. That's like a million miles away! Wait a second. Does that white mean snow? Yes. It seems the area is covered in it. Alright, let me look at it. Be get ready, everyone. It's time to explore an island that Captain Vince himself never reached. You like ice-type Pokemon? I do. I wish that, like, ice-type Pokemon were vo more, like, viable. Because, like, the ice type is, like, such a cool type and concept. But, like, you would never want to use them because they're all, like, hindered by how... It's basically, like, if you're not a glass cannon, you suck. Because you're, 
you're you're not doing great in the defenses no matter what because you're an ice type. I've got some news I think you'll like. Since we've got new areas to research, I've given the Neo One a special upgrade. Namely, a turbo function. This'll really get you moving. <laughs> yep, I gotta take it for a spin just now. Trust me, that thing can move. Not only will it get you where you're going faster, but you'll also have mo more control over the timing of your photos. As for the de details, take it away, Rita. Yeah. Yes, sir, Professor. To use the turbo, just press... B -b 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 the Neo One will go faster as long as you hold the button. Oh, and speaking of changing your speed, did you know the Neo One slows down automatically when you look behind you or zoom in on something? That's because it reacts to how you move your camera. Adding turbo to the mix should let you snap photos of Pokemon from lots of different angles. Now let's get into investigating the new island. Don't play Pokemon, you just like the ones that are cool. That's fair. That's respectable. Only play real games for real gamers like Super Mario Epic 2 Dream Machine. Did you know? Super Mario Bros. 2 is a really good game. That's a, that's a respectable choice for a real gamer game. So we're getting pretty close to end game. Talking about Super Mario Epic 2 and not damn Super Mario Bros. 2. Well, that sounds like a personal issue. One of the greatest fan games. Oh, that's like a real fan game. I thought, yeah, I thought you were just making a joke, honestly. Oh, there's Bear Tick. Loist Boy isn't here, or maybe Loist Boy is here. Uh, I haven't seen Cub Chew, but Bear Tick is here. Oh, right, I don't have, uh, the orb yet. I do have to find a crystal bloom that's glowing, though. Pokemon Snap 2 Protag gets mauled. Yeah, it makes actual bear noises. Oof. Oof. I reacted way too slow on that. Yeah, this is a very nice looking- I honestly think this is like one of the best looking Switch games. Like this- like this has to be up there. Like this and like Luigi's Mansion 3 are like the pinnacle of like Switch graphics. Oh, there's Skarmory. Like, these graphics are nice enough where you kind of forget that the Switch is pretty underpowered. This will be Switch graphics in 2021. Luigi's Mansion 3 is great. I, I, I like, really enjoyed my playthrough of Luigi's Mansion 3. I kind of want to replay it at some point, but it's one of those things where it's like I'm not desperate to do it. It was a good game. It was really good, but... um. Like, so many, so many games these days are, like, 10 hours long, and they're, it's, like, hard, it's, like, harder for me to justify replaying a game that's that long, you know? When they have to push themselves to be, like, that, at least 10 hours. Not very replayable at all. That's, that's fair enough. That, that's probably why I've wanted a decent amount of distance from it, because... I just, I don't want to get, like, tired of the gameplay. Ever since the Wii, Nintendo's been more about making the most of weaker technology than beating them at the graphics, than beating the graphical arms race. No, yeah, 100%. And I think it's worked out for them, for the most part. Be because N Nintendo understands kind of best that, uh... You can kind of, you can kind of do well with underpowered hardware so long as like you're like smart about 
art style and stuff. Like, Nintendo games are very good, usually, about, like, having very nice art styles that kind of mask the fact that it's not super graphically intensive. Piplup chirping. He is a little penguin. And honestly, I think that's something more companies should value is just, like, getting more out of an art style rather than trying to get the most out of the graphics. Because I think we are gonna reach a point. We're probably already at that point where, like, we keep, we keep, like, pushing graphical intensity so far. And, like, it, with the way the industry is right now, it's just not sustainable. It's just not sustainable. I think, like... Are you guys hearing, like, star screaming? Star is upset about something. I don't know what it is. I could hear, like, star through the... Through the, uh, walls. Being very angry. At what could I... I can only assume is Minecraft again. Yeah, Minecraft- Minecraft seems fucked up. If Star is anything to go by, Minecraft's a fucked up game that turns you into a little supervillain. Oh, these spiel picks are so good. This spiel chillin'. Oh my god. Maybe I just need to level up in this place. I don't have to worry about a crystal balloon. I don't know. A new discovery. Can Magikarp be found in every region or something? It seems so. I'm pretty sure you can. Did I ever play Game & Wario? No, unfortunately I didn't. Which is really sad because, like, Game & Wario I looked pretty fun. It didn't look like, um... The traditional WarioWare game? I mean, there was the gamer part that seemed like it. It, it. It's one of those things where it was, like, a bit too gimmicky for me at the time to, like, really get into it. I don't know. I guess, like, during the Wii U era, I wasn't at a point in my life where I wanted to, like, play a lot of, like, super gimmicky games. A multiplayer games in Game of Wario are also good. Mm -hmm. A new discovery. Nice work. Yeah, if you're gonna do a tech demo, you might as well have Wario at the forefront. I mean, WarioWare Smooth Moves was like a uh, Wii tech demo. That was like a Wii. La Wasn't that a Wii launch title? But that was a really good game. Oh man, I've always wanted to play WarioWare Gold. But I just never got the chance to. I didn't buy it on 3DS because it was like in 2018. And at that point I was like so invested in my Switch that I was like, whatever. Smooth Moves wasn't a launch title, but it came out pretty early on. Mm-hmm. Okay. I I still can't believe there's not a fucking WarioWare Switch game. It's like frankly disgusting that we don't have a WarioWare Switch game. kind of fucked that the last real Wario was actually smooth moves. Yeah, because, like, wasn't, like, WarioWare Gold was, like, a compilation of all old mini games, from what I heard, which is, like, fine. I heard it was good. 
But, like, yeah, it had DIY in Game and Wario. Oh, I got a shit ton of time out of DIY, though. I'm, like, vaguely interested in, like, Nintendo's game garage thing. But, like, I need to, I need to like, see it in action before I take the plunge. Because it could be like WarioWare DIY. But, I don't know. I don't know. I also don't know if there's, like, a real online component to that. There's new mini games in gold, but there's a lot of old stuff. Mm-hmm. I like how in WarioWare Gold, they did, like, the thing where you could do dubs of the voice acting and everybody watched on, on YouTube, but that didn't stop people from not buying the game because it was a 3DS game in 2018. I still don't think WarioWare Gold did, like, numbers. It snow is quite a sight. It's a real treat to see it since it never snows on Florio. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it in the moonlight. If you spot the Illumina phenomenon in action, don't let its brilliance distract you from taking photos of it. It did better than Bowser's Inside Story DX? Well, that's something everybody can say. No, I, I don't really, like... If you go on YouTube, I've probably sold more than Bowser's Inside Story DX. It's an island of pure winter. I don't remember a lot of the voice acting in WarioWare Gold. It kind of left my memory all already. Oh shit. Doggy. Two doggies. No joke. The great outdoors doesn't pull any punches. I can't wait to see some shots with the moonlight glinting off the snow. They're barking. Wait, there's like sand slash there. Oh yeah, Orbe Orbeon's voice actor gets around. Awesome. There we go. Who the fuck flew by? Like, Fronk's voice a lot. Mm hmm. Oh shit! Thank you, Professor Elm5, for the raid! Hello, everyone! <laughs> Hope you guys had a good stream! Why did my controller disconnect? Hell yeah, love the eggs. Well, welcome everybody from Professor Elm stream. Hope you all had a good time. I'm enjoying some Pokemon Snap. Gotta get a look at this Snap. It's pretty fun. Oh, Braviary. Shit. Hi, motherfucker Morgan. Hello. Welcome. Hope you're all having a good night, a good day. Thank you for the raid. I was not expecting that. <laughs> 16 people is a lot. Yeah, we usually got small small streams going, but thank you all. Thank you all for coming. There's a bomb of snow. I'm taking pictures as best as I can. Donkeys are gonna eat fur it. Well, as long as we don't look, it didn't happen. I don't. Th I don't think Professor Mirror would be very happy if I took a <laughs> took a picture of an animal being mauled. Fellow trans girl, you deserve a follow. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Becca Porion? Is that how I say your username? Yeah, Obama Snow is kind of like depressed up there. 
Where is he? Oh, I think I I passed him already. Oh, remind me, I have to take a picture of the goddamn crystal bloom. And thank you for the follow, also. It's not updating my activity feed, so I apologize if I miss anything. Rise. Jinx is not looking at me. Hey. Hey, geniuses. Yo. Hello, Poke Plays. Welcome. Once again, if I, my activity feed is not updating, so if I miss anything, I apologize. But thank you to anyone who decides to follow. Uh, I stream all sorts of things. I stream funny Pokemon sometimes. Uh, that's a pretty funny one, the ice cream. I guess this one just like going back and forth. I'm gonna bop it on the head. Oh, I, I missed. All right. Swear there was a deli. Yeah, I think there's a deli bird in the level, but I can't. I couldn't tell you where. Bomba Snow was 100% listening to the guts theme. Funny? Sorry. Sorry. Funny Pokemon is kind of gay, but that's the best kind of Pokemon. You get it. You get it. I missed the Crystal Bloom. Where the hell was it? I'm gonna have to replay the level. Which, I mean, is par for the course, but it's still a little annoying. Alright, let's get out of here. Feel kind of sus. Back. They're gonna make the new Among Us ice level. I would play Among Us again if they put in an ice level, to be honest. That's what I, I, I like a good snow level, at least aesthetically. I think like snow levels are very pretty aesthetically, but like the ice physics suck. Oh, it does have a snow one? Wait, what? Polaris? Man, I do not know enough about Among Us, huh? Okay, I'll play Among Us again, since you guys told me there is a nice level in there. I, I promised, and now I'll follow through. Bet you only played on the Skeld. Probably. That's the one my friends probably always played on. I'll have to play on Polaris. Oh, wait, I think I know which one that is. Isn't that the one... Where, like, you go down into, like, the snowy area and it has, like, a bunch of, like, different offices and shit. And you can, like, go in the shower. It's a The Thing reference map. Oh, that's pretty good. I love The Thing. The Thing is a great movie. Great taste from the Among Us devs. Polaris is the one where ejected crewmates are dropped into lava. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. A new discovery. Nice work. Among Us is basically the thing, but with sniffets. Nice work. That probably makes sense. It's the freeze flame galaxy level of Among Us. Nice work. Gonna be high as fuck on serotonin tomorrow? Hell yeah. Nice work. Nice, nice picture of Furret. Does anyone know where the Crystal Bloom in this level is? Wait, does the professor sound horny in the Japanese dub? Is he, is he a little, is he a little weird? Yeah, he kind of just sounds like a guy here. That's not appropriate for kids. I think Nintendo should have workshopped that voice a little more. Or I guess Pokemon Company. I can't imagine, like, Professor Mirror with, like, a horny voice. This is the least sexual professor I've ever seen. Oh, no. Okay. Prof 
who, what, what is the least second? Why am I talking about this? Why am I? Uh, <laughs> that's a dangerous thing to get into. Like, who's the least sexual Pokemon professor? Which, uh, whatever one looks like Griffin McElroy. Professor Birch is the least one. Yeah, prof I would. Pr yeah, probably Professor Birch. Good luck. Professor Rowan. I mean, I think, like, Professor Rowan would appear appeal to, like, a specific kind of person that likes, like, old men. But, like, Professor Birch is, like, he, like, appeal- he, like, appeals to people who think, like, John Tron is sexy. That- that's, like, the Professor Birch, like, love- that would be, like, the people who would find Professor Birch sexy. He is a dad, so technically he is getting some game, but I would still say he's the least sexual one. Where is this crystal bloom? Oh, did I not? I don't think I got Braviary last time. Where is this crystal bloom? I gotta get a glowing crystal bloom. Elm may actually be the least. He's the youngest. Mm-hmm. What about Professor Oak? You know what? There's probably, there's probably like a huge portion of people who think Professor Oak could get it. Oak is doing it. Yeah, we're roasting Elm even though he raided. Also, yeah, we should we should keep this PG thirteen. Don't don't go into too much detail. Oh wait, it's in the hole. The crystal bloom is in that goddamn hole in the ground. So I'm gonna have to replay the level. Shit. I remember now. I remember everything. Yeah, don't worry. I don't. Th I don't think anybody made like a big offense or anything. But we just gotta be careful. We just. We just gotta be a little careful. Because I do. I do want to keep. I don't. I don't care about keeping things too clean. Because my name is Motherfucker Morgan. But uh, just clean enough where if like a thirteen-year-old walked in here, I'd be like not ashamed to talk to them. Can these doggies move? What are you doing? Why are you in my path? Can you fucking go? Thank you. Sing them a song. What's like the dog song you sing to them? Also, even with Turbo, you still... Like, go slow as shit. Can't read doing X's mum without hearing Ray William Johnson. <laughs> oh, that's so unfortunate. That's like worst case scenario to hear Ray William Johnson in any scenario. Oh, Frostmoth. I didn't even realize Frostmoth was here. I just bopped it in the head. Hell yeah. I don't know if Snom is here though, which is sad. I mean, having the evolution here doesn't guarantee the pre-evolution. Can't do anything without hearing Ray William Johnson. He's like your Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> Doing your death. Oh, there's Delibird. You mentioned Delibird earlier. There he is. There's the sad Obama Snow. I'm gonna bop him on the head. Come on. There we go. Now he's mildly perturbed. Hi, Deli Bird. We're, on the, we're a little on the wild side tonight. So rude to him. I'm sorry. Also, hi, Maxine. Welcome. Remember, Bible Thump exists every stream except for actual Isaac streams. <laughs> yeah, a Bible Thump would be ideal to use during an Isaac stream. 
Which I'm probably going to do combo pack night on Friday and have Isaac be there. I don't know if I'm going to do Monster Hunter with it. I might do TF2 again. Because I've kind of been craving playing TF2 again. Oh, they're sliding! Oh! This is the best game in the world. Literally game of the year. You know what, Professor Elm? That's all, that, that's the energy you gotta carry. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You know, if someone says you're the least professor of all time, just don't, just don't worry about it. Also, no problem, Professor Elm. <laughs> I've done the raid and run before. Don't even worry about it. Get some food. Get some food. Enjoy your night. Have a good night, and thanks for the raid. I, I, I guess the picture of the frost moth on the wall is two star. I kind of like this picture more though. I feel like that's a better picture. I feel like I'm gonna get more points for that. Yeah, got a good picture there. I don't. I don't think that's where Professor Elm came from. I think that's Freddy. The yeah, am for the street. Okay, never mind then. Never mind then. Hey, we have we have Professor Elm on in chat, and we also had Doug Bowser in chat. We got this is a celebrity night. I didn't tell you guys this was a celebrity guest stream. <laughs> Except that I didn't let the celebrity guests be on mic. I I hogged it to myself. What can I say? I'm too much of a hog of the spotlight. That's a terrible telly bird, but whatever. Nice Obama snow. Pretty good jinx. They're here, but it's a secret. Yeah, they're like- the, the celebrities are surrounding me. We need to get Bernie Sanders in chat next. Every time, like, I know I should think of other things when I think of Bernie Sanders these days, but all I can think of when I think of Bernie Sanders now is I think of the one clip that's taken, like, completely out of context, where, like, Bernie Sanders says, You're a bad guy! We're gonna assassinate you! I also think of the other out of context clip where he says, The American people are tired of women! Can I get Joe Biden on stream? Yeah, sure. I'll get- I'll get American President Joe Biden on stream. We are gaming in the Biden years, after all. I think we talked about this last stream, or maybe I talked about this on, like, a voice call with my friends, but I really- I really think we should start, like, judging gaming things, not by generation, but by who was president during that gaming era. Like, you know, yeah, George Woods gaming in the Clinton years. We we should start like judging games by what president was in office. Like, what do you what do you guys think was the best game to come out in the Trump years? What and wait, like, what's currently the best game in the Biden years? I wanna I wanna hear your thoughts. Can we get Barack Obama on stream to ask what his first name is? Yeah, I haven't figured that out yet. But if we get Barack on, it would be pretty good. Doom 2016, The Last of Us. Yeah, they released like five remasters of it. For sale, channel named Gaming in the Hillary Clinton Years, never used. <laughs> Gaming in the Lincoln Years. Gaming in the Lincoln Years was like hoop and stick. Fall Guys? Mm-hmm. What would be the best? Gaming in the- If you get like the president with the double terms like Obama though, like, that's a lot of games. That's a lot more games. Trump just doesn't have as many video games. Hello. There's, uh, pretty much all the presidents since gaming started have been, like, two-term two presidents. So, Trump has a disadvantage inherently. 
with his gaming legacy. I just, like, skipped Professor Mira's dialogue. He just told me, here's some orbs. That's all you need to know. Thanks. I think you might discover something new there. Okay, that's, that's like, too vague. I'm, I'm looking at the walkthrough again, because I don't... I don't want to be playing this level, like, three times in a row. What would be my favorite uh, game from gaming in the Obama years? Obama does have Minecraft. I think a lot of people would say gaming in the Obama years would be best just because of Minecraft. Is there a mother freaking Cheeto in the White House? You are lying. I don't believe you. <laughs> I think, like, making jokes about, like... Cheeto in the White House has become infinitely more funny because Trump isn't the president anymore. Like it wasn't like it wasn't funny to be like haha -ha, Cheeto when like Trump was in office, but now that he's out of there, it's like way funnier to say, "Guys, there's a freaking Cheeto in the White House." Rayman Origins came out in the Obama years. Ooh. Super Mario 3D World came out in the Obama years. That's a pretty good one. We also run into a problem where some, like, president, well, pretty much the only presidents that's, like, been double in gaming years is the Bush family. So we would have two separate, like, gaming in the Bush years, wouldn't we? Or no, wait, when was George Bush senior president? Wasn't he president, like? Man, it shows how much I know about American history. When was Sonic Dreams collection? That was, like, 2015, I think. Honestly, I I dock Obama a point for Sonic Dreams Collection. Both Isaacs came out in the Obama years. That's true, also. Damn, we're handing so many W's to Obama for his contri contributions to gaming currently. Although that might also be because most of us are like two thousands kids in here. Thank you, Obama, for saving gaming. Hillary Clinton tried to save gaming when she talked about uh, Pokemon Go to the polls, but unfortunately it didn't work, and that's why she was not elected. It was exclusively because of Pokemon Go to the polls and not because of any complicated political situations. Least of all, an email scandal. It was just because she said Pokemon Go to the polls and people didn't find it funny. Honestly, what if Sonic was weird instead of normal and it was, like, weird and funny? That would be crazy. Bill Clinton gets the original Dooms in Half-Life. For real. Honestly. That original Dooms in Half-Life 1? That's, like, crazy good. That's crazy good. I also disagree with that sentiment. I think old women could be very funny. Hillary Clinton's just not one of them. Hillary Clinton. She did whip in Nene on the Ellen show. I remember specifically when she whipped in Nene on the Ellen show. Obvi I'll, although, I'll be honest, I think just whipping in Nene on the Ellen show probably gained her at least three votes and nothing else. Rip to Ellen when she dies in 2022. Wait, why is Ellen gonna die in 2022? Did, like, someone make, like, a prophecy saying Ellen DeGeneres? They're gonna be executing Ellen on her show. Her show is ending? Oh, that makes sense. Haven't the ratings of that show, like, fucking tanked because everyone was like, oh, yeah, it's, like, a really abusive work environment and it just sucks to work there? And then everybody was like, oh, that's weird. We can no longer roll the dice.
Yeah, no, it, ma it makes sense that they're shutting down the Ellen show. I, kind of, I, I dislike that Ellen got away with so much shit for years because she was like, haha, she's like our funny aunt. But like, you know. And like, I, from what I've seen, she can often be very mean-spirited to like people she brings on the show. Which is kind of just how they get views anyways. Like, that's how Dr. Phil gets his views. He's just kind of a dickhead to people. They're like, Dr. Phil, our divorce has been really messy. And then he's like, have you considered not being divorced, you fucking moron? Like, come on. Like, I would just not be divorced. And like, literally being divorced is your fault. Okay? I, I, I hate you. I will destroy you. I will hit you over the head with a hammer and it'll be very funny. And that's the Dr. Phil show. Think Doc has to be mean to his people? Maybe. I haven't watched Dr. Phil. Maybe he has to talk a little sense into them. Although I do think he should hit them with hammers more because hitting people with hammers is funny. Ellen the Generous versus Ellen the Stingy. Well, Ellen the Stingy is who we really got. Okay, so how do I unlock the Outward Cave? Do I just have to take a picture of the Crystal Bloom and then, like, finish the thing? Yeah, Dr. Phil did tell someone he's gonna kill them. Honestly, though, that's how you get, like, the views. We should start- I, I should start, like, threatening people in chat, and then I'll get views for it, and people will be like, Whoa, this streamer is, like, a savage. And then, like, everyone will love me until they realize I'm kind of a piece of shit, and then they all hate me. Because I treated everyone really poorly. And then they were like, oh, usually treating people really poorly on your, like, Twitch stream is a reflection of you kind of being a shithead. He's not even in the top five bald men. That's scathing. I also like the implication that there would be not enough, like, bald men in the world for Dr. Phil. Like, if, like, there's not a lot of bald men in the world, and Dr. Phil still doesn't even crack the top five. That's what, that's what that, like, sounds like. Bald, bald men are gonna be an endangered species. They're, they're, all bald men are going to discover wigs and it's going to change their lives. And they're just going to wear that instead of being bald. Cannot name that many bald men. Oh, you got like Curly from the Three Stooges. That the, Curly from the Three Stooges I think counts for at least ten bald men. Pitbull? Yeah, Pitbull Pitbull counts for at least 15. Isaac well, Isaac's not a man, he's a little child. The Amazon yeah, Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos is a bald man. Walter White? Yeah. Is the actor for Walter Walter White also bald, or was he just bald for the show? Doug Bowser is also bald, that's true. Doug Bowser's worth a couple men. A couple bald men. No longer balded? Yeah, you got Seth Everman. Seth Everman's a bald man. I don't know how we got into the discussion of... Well, I know how we got into the discussion of the bald men, but... Anthony Fanta... Yeah, Anthony Fantano's pretty bald. I looked up a picture of Anthony Fantano, and his bald scalp blinded my eyes. Anthony Fantano counts as negative one bald man. <laughs> made this a bald men stream hey sometimes it happens sometimes the sometimes life gives you a bald man and you just have to work with him Okay, but, like, who's the ultimate bald man? If you had to, like, name the ultimate bald man, who would it be? What's your, like, pick for ultimate bald man? Baldy? Well, Baldy has the strand of hair. Baldy doesn't count. Mike from Breaking Bad. See, that's the problem with Baldy, is Baldy has that one strand of hair. Yeah, he has the single baby hair. 
It doesn't matter that his name is Baldy because he's a liar. Yeah, Northern Lion is like a bald man. Is he the ultimate bald man? I mean, I like- I've been watching his, uh, Isaac streams a lot lately. They're pretty good. Germa? <laughs> Kai! Kaiyu's not a man. He's like five. <laughs> Come on. I, li I like the idea of uh, we're, we're like forcing Germa to bald himself. Northern, yeah, Northern Lion did earn the nickname of the egg. That's true. Oh, Picard? Is Picard the bald man? Scott the what? Scott the what? Come on. Yeah, Picard's a pretty good pick for a bald man. Is he the ultimate bald man? He might be. Nice. I haven't watched Star Trek, but I'm probably I'd probably be fairly confident in calling Picard the ultimate bald man. Like, he's the pinkle of all bald men. Donkey Kong in that one episode of the DKC cartoon. Does that count? It was only like I guess, because I guess like like chest hair and like body hair doesn't count as not being bald. Does Yoda count as a bald man? Yeah, Yoda has hair though, so he can't be. He just has like shitty little gray hairs that you can barely see. If we all focus our negative energies to Germa, he will become bald. Honestly, Germa should go bald. I don't wanna- I don't wanna, like, start streamer drama, but Germa with the mustache is- it, 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 Like, it's just, it's just wrong. I've been v watching Germa for, like, nearly a decade, and, like, seeing him with a mustache is fucked up. Sagat from Street Fighter? What about the guy from the one gift that gets, like, par poured on his head and the hairdresser has to yoink it off of him and he becomes bald? I have no idea what you are talking about. Yeah, Germa, like, well, I don't know if he still has it. I didn't watch his most recent stream, but when he streamed this game, he had, like, a, he had, like, a shitty mustache. And it was, like, it, it was, like, it took me aback because I was, like, Something's- something's wrong here. Also, you're probably- I think you might be right. Like, I think, like, Heavy and- Heavy and Picard have to, like, fight it out to find out who's the ultimate bald man. I think Heavy wins, though. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the Star Trek heads, but I think Heavy TF2's got it in the bag. Let's do this. What about King Neptune? King Neptune is absolutely not the ultimate bald man. Nice work. Like he's a he's like he's like a B tier bald man, I think. Big time. Nice work. Picard would not fight, he's too nice, but he would win because he's from the future. Mm -hmm. He doesn't count because he hit his baldness. That's true, he doesn't have bald guy swag. King Neptune from the Spongebob movie does not have bald guy swag. Nice work. Nice work. Yeah, Ultimate Bald Man absolutely has to take pride in his baldness. Nice work. Nice work. Like, you gotta own it. If you don't own the fact that you're bald, you cannot win the place of the Ultimate Bald Man. Like, ultimate bald status- ultimate bald man status, I think one of the requirements is that you have to shave your head on purpose. Like, you want to have the bald look. It, it can't just be that, like, you went gray one day, and then you started balding, and you were just like, you know what, and you took it all off. No, you have to make that conscious decision before you- before, like, your balding gets really bad, and just be like, you know what, take it all off. Does Squidward count as bald? Probably. I mean, he has, like, those things on top of his head. But, probably, like, I don't know if that- I don't think that's hair, so he- I think he's bald. I mean, doesn't Squilliam have hair? Walter White shaved his head on purpose? Ooh, Walter White might be in the runnings then. What about Dr. Eggman? I don't think anyone's brought up Dr. Eggman. Dr. Eggman's bald. I mean, he's got, like, crazy facial hair, but he's definitely, like, got a bald head. Huh. 
I think, like, Dr. Eggman is pretty high up there. In, like, ba Baldman tier list. I love that this is the stream topic we're on now. Does, like, a, does like a unibrow count as being bald? Uh, not being bald, though? Oh, no, Squillium. You were talking about Squillium. I was, I was confused. Eggman is a very good contender. I don't... Dr. Wily, I mean, like... I don't know if Wily would have bald guy swag at all. I think, like, Dr. Wily is also, like, a B-tier, at best, bald man. Wow. Word reaches you quickly, Rita. Oh, Megamind definitely has bald guy swag. Megamind would be up there. I think, like, okay, we have to, like, compile a list of all bald men, and, like, we'll do a Hunger Games simulation of all bald men. Hold on, someone- actually, someone, like, put that in stream discussion. Sigma? Ooh, from Mega Man? That's pretty good. Bald Man tier list. I think we have to do like a Hunger Games simulator of the Bald Men and determine- have them fight it out. Word reaches you quickly, Rita. That's a good quality for an assistant. Yes, we've pointed out another reading. It's coming from underground, farther into Duras Island. Oh, we're going underground? This is gonna be awesome. Cave we'll be exploring looks quite deep. I'm counting on you to leave no stone unturned down there. Who are we gonna pair with who? I don't know if it matters too much, to be honest. I think there might be a way to also pair up nobody with anybody, but I don't know. Yeah, someone, if you could, Ma Maxine, if you could put together the bald guy tier list, like, we'll do that on stream. I will, I will, like, at the end of this part of the stream, I will do the bald, bald guy tier list. Man, I haven't done Tier Maker in so long. I only did, like, a couple Tier Maker streams, and that was it. I should really, like, doing Tier List is fun, but it's hard to find good ones. Fuck yes. Let me let me know when you finish. Hey, can I talk to you for a sec? Has the professor told you yet? He gave us the greeting light to do some nighttime research at the beach. You must be psyched to go too, right? I can't wait. Um, new area unlocked. Mm -hmm. you okay, let's do this level. I'm not sure what the level requirement to beat this is. Okay, so we gotta raise it to research level 2, and then when we get to level 2, we have to take an alternate path. So we have to make a very conscious, like, effort to, uh, get to a higher level. Ooh. I guess that's the best Joltik I'm gonna get. Carbank. Carbank sure is a Pokemon. Does anybody remember Carbank? It feels like Carbank got uh, overshadowed by Deancey, which is just like a fancy version of it. No, Deancey is like a legendary Pokemon. Love Carbank? Oh. There seems to be some Carbank fans in the crowd, and you know what? I support it. It's not a Pokemon I think about too often, but I'm glad that some people get some enjoyment out of it. Is, is Diancie just like a mutated Carbank? Is this a geology stream? I think if I did a geology stream, I would just be ripping off Germa. 
And, like, that's not my style. I don't want to just start ripping off other streamers. Although I am proud to announce that I'm going to be doing a new series soon. Where, uh, I play Half-Life 2, but the twist is that there's going to be, um, some self-aware AI. And I hope you all look forward to that. Ooh, Sableye. Sableye's funny. Zoology stream. What the fuck? Why are you so mad? I just threw an apple for you, and you just stomped. Ooh. Oh, that's not a great picture. That was close. If I'm not going to stream episode 2, can I announce who won the million dollars from not referencing HLVR AI? Oh, it was Other Morgan. I think Other Morgan was the only one who didn't mention HLVR AI once. I think ever like... If I have to make a definitive winner, because there were a couple people who didn't make references to it, I think, like, Other Morgan's probably the closest. And I'm not just- I'm not just doing the Morgan bias, that's uh, genuinely what I think. Yeah, Gengar's doing some fucking portal shit. Ooh. Never watched HLVR AI? It's a pretty good series, it's a pretty good series. But you're not allowed to make references to it during my Half-Life streams. Because then the entire chat will just be jokes from it. At least that was my worry, and that's why I made the joke about someone winning the million dollars. Welcome back. Welcome back. Can't wait to see the Pokemon in this light. I have a lot of respect for the streamers at Radio TV Solutions. I don't. I don't want people to make to like think I don't, because I do. But. Um, it's generally good form to not go into other streamers' chats and only make references to other streamers, especially when, like, yeah, I understand an HLVR AI reference, but maybe someone else who's streaming Half-Life doesn't. Look at this mischievous little imp. This is a great goblin Pokemon. This guy's pissed at me. Sableye is great. Sableye is a great Pokemon. A new discovery. Nice work. A new discovery. Nice work. Yeah, Sableye is perfect. A new discovery. Nice work. <laughs> it's showtime. That's pretty good. That's a great interpretation of Sableye. Sableye really is just, like, a little thing. You're so right. That's a pretty good pro gunk. Very natural. He didn't like the pose. He thinks Sableye should stop looking like a shitty little guy. Not very nice, Professor. Just being honest. Krogunk, my friend Krogunk. Oh, I didn't even come close. I didn't even come close to getting level 2. We're gonna have to do this level at least like three times. Sad. Dude, we need to play more Pokemon Platinum. It feels like that series has been going on forever and we've only done like three streams of it. And I gotta, I gotta hurry it up. I gotta pick up the pace because Miitopia comes out soon. And god, Platinum has a pretty beefy post-game. Maybe I'll, like, finish Platinum and then save the post-game for once I'm finished with Miitopia. Because that po I think that post-game is gonna be the first Pokemon post-game stream. Where I have to... Have to, like, split it into multiple parts.
might also have to bring in the dogs in a bit. So if I have to take a BRB, you'll know why. I can hear them barking outside. There is Gengar, coming from the portal. Ooh, sleeping Crow Gunk. If the professor doesn't like sleeping Crow Gunk, he doesn't know a goddamn thing. Shrek have bald guy swag? Ooh. That's like a hard question. I think so. Because I don't think Shrek... Like, Shrek definitely doesn't have bald guy class. He's definitely... But, like... It's also hard to say that Shrek is a very swaggy creature. But honestly, like... I think he's earned it. I think he's earned his place as a man with bald guy swag. He does have hair when he turns human. But I mean, that's not like who Shrek is, though. I don't, like, I don't know if the human Shrek counts. Because he learns in the end that that's not who he wants to be. And then he learns to embrace his bald guy swag. See, that's what I'm talking about. Because, like, he made the conscious decision to go bald again. Fiona has hair on both forms, yeah, but Shrek doesn't, because Shrek has bald guy swag. It's because she's a girl, and girls have hair. How long have we been talking about bald people? Maker does not want to cooperate with you. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. We we need the bald guy tier list, but apparently Tear Maker doesn't agree. So sad. You get this done. I believe in you. We might, we might also still do Hunger Games Simulator, but I do like the idea of the bald men tier list. All right. Wait, did he not discover anything new? Oh, no, wait, because I have to go back and do level two. Okay. But I don't think I get to level two if I just press retry. At least I don't think so. So I'm going to go back to the HUD, hub. I think we're in it for the long haul, folks. I think we got at least another hour or two of this if we want to finish the game tonight. Counting on you. Ooh, Noipat. Noipat is a cute design. I wish I got to use Noibat and Noivern ever. Maybe when I stream Pokemon X and Y. 
which is inevitably gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna be the most enthusiastic stream I've ever done, but uh, I do want to get it done as a part of the Poke Marathon. At the very least, we'll have a nice time doing bantering during it, because it'll be a very easy game to shut off my brain to. This has been kind of like that. I feel like we've had some good, good ba lad banter tonight. Bye, Noibat. Hopefully Noivern comes out. Also, welcome back, Zip. Welcome, welcome. Yo, if Pokemon was real, I'd be like, what the fuck? Oh, yo, Drifloon. Drifloon is cool. I know it does mischievous and evil things, but it's cool. Fuck yes. I cannot- I cannot wait for the tier list. Oh, Clefairy! I didn't even know Clefairy was here. Yo. Hi, Krogon. Glalie is pretty funny. Oh, hi, Geodude. Geodude I didn't know was here either, but I don't know if Geodude is exciting. Why are you making me look at the stalactites? Why do they really want me to look at the stalactites? It's, it could fall at any moment. Are you Like, do you want me to think about my imminent death? Like, having a huge rock fall on me. Oh, I should scan here. Huge crystals. This is the real Pokemon crystal. We found it. Ooh, Mawile. I forgot Mawile was here. So sad that I can't get a front view. Mawile has a cute design. I wish Mawile was, like, more viable. Although Mega Mawile was pretty great. Maybe if I do, when I do Auras, I use Mawile. That's kind of another piss easy baby game that I could kind of use whatever in. Hey, do you, do you know, do you know I bats like Apple? <gasps> That's how you eat it. Wait, why did it like shoot beams at the apple and then grab it? That's not how you eat it. Come on. It's one of the ancient ruins. All right. Yeah, Vivillion is funny because it's Pokemon 666. I think that's, like, ideal. A funny little butterfly Pokemon. Oh my god, it's ready. Okay, hold on. We gotta do the bald men tier list before we continue this stream. I think this is like the proto phase, because we are I, I don't see I don't see Shrek here. Shrek should be here. But I'll accept it. I'll accept it. Let's do bald men tier list. Doug Walker easy D tier. Not not even a question. Dr. Phil, like, C. Jeff Bezos is a D tier. I'll give Northern Lion, like, an A tier. Pitbull's S tier. Seth Everman. I don't really watch Seth Everman. But he's, like, better than Dr. Phil, though. Bald Baldy is D tier. Obviously, Eggman is S tier. So is Heavy. Um, Megamind? Megamind might be A tier. I'm sorry to all the Megamind heads. But I think Megamind... I don't know if he quite reaches, like, Pitbull or Eggman or Heavy. Why? How could you? How could I what? Not put Megamind in S tier? After all he's done for us? Megamind is so perfect? Listen, 
Megamind's a great guy. I like him a lot. But, like, does he, does he, like, does he compare to the heavy weapons guy? I'm, I'm, a man who has done more, more for this world than anyone else. He's Megamind? <sighs> you guys are really determined to put Megamind in that. Fine, Megamind can be S tier. But in, in in response, Picard is A tier because I never watched Star Trek. I respect Captain Picard, but he's not like Walter White's like B tier. Walter White probably has more bald guy class than bald guy swag. Look at what you all did. If Shrek was here, I think Shrek would be S tier. I, I have nothing but respect for my man Shrek. <laughs> he deserves to be only an A tier for what he said about how he wishes two people could just be seen as good friends without saying they are gay or lesbo. <laughs> I understand. Well, if you ever make a if you ever make a sequel or maybe you can edit the tier list, I don't know, but I think Shrek should be in there next time. I don't I don't know who Professor X is. I don't know if I could rate him properly. Like I know Picard enough. But I don't know Professor X. X-Men? I never read X-Men, so I don't I don't know. The bald guy. I mean, you're leading me along a path, and, like, I don't know directions. The one in the wheelchair. Once again, you're leading me in a direction? I don't know- I don't know where that is. I don't- I don't know, X-Men, I'm sorry. I don't think I've ever watched an X-Men related thing in my life, so that's probably not helping. Mm-hmm. There's Clefairy. Yeah, I don't watch a lot of superhero movies. Like, the only ones I've watched in, like, the past couple years was Endgame and Joker 2019. Nice work. Joker was the better movie. I would say. A new discovery. Endgame was nothing to me. Nice work. Endgame doesn't do it for me. I think it's because, like, Marvel movies make, like, every fucking superhero movie feel the exact same to me. Like, the majority of the MCU movies, they might as well all be the same thing. Now we can return to camp, though. Say hi to the new Avengers movie. Hulk with a gun. Yo, if they give Hulk a gun, though, he would literally be unstoppable. Because he already has, like, the raw beef to, like, destroy anyone. But if you gave him a gun, like, he would also have the firepower. I think that would be it. Just imagine, plants thriving so deep underground... What wonders the world hides. Professor. Hey, Professor, what was the important thing you wanted oh. to tell us? Ah, uh, yes, good news. <laughs> We've located an Illumina Pokemon on Duras Island. Yep. That's right. We've picked up that familiar reading that comes from a large empty space deeper in the cave. <laughs> Which means we found our last Illumina Pokemon. 
You know what to do, trusty photographer. Ooh. All right. Not final boss time, but we're coming pretty close. I think after this, we only really have one more level. This one I remember being fucked up to do. Your new Illumina Pokemon is everyone's favorite Pokemon, Steelix. Could be dangerous. Honestly, be Steelix careful. is kind of dope, though. I don't know if that's, like, a popular opinion, but I think Steelix is kind of dope. Yeah, Hulk is an Avenger. Avengers 5. We had to put down the Hulk. Full of them in the orbs? Was the last pictures they took of him not sufficient? I gotta be honest, I don't like understand why the MCU is like still going. Because, like, I don't think any Phase 4 movie could be as big as Endgame was, right? Like, why bother at that point? Money? But, I mean, yeah, but, like, the money's always going to be lesser than Endgame, right? Especially because Endgame is, like, the highest grossing movie of all time. I really think it's just, like, all downhill from there. But it's money and easy. It's safe. I suppose so. But it's one of those things where, like... I mean, they already kind of risk oversaturating the market and people get tired of it. If they can build up hype for another superhero team, it'd probably help. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this kind of movie isn't for me anyways. Money's still money, I suppose so. But it's always like company's motto. They can't just be making a little bit of money. They gotta make all the monies. I just think at some point, like, the bubble's gonna pop. I think they're eventually gonna reach a point where they just can't make as, mu as much money off of these movies anymore because th there's so many. What if they made a Yoshi movie? That'd be pretty cool. Honestly, I would pay to see the Yoshi movie. Uh, Splatoon movie would be pretty cool. Meeting is getting farther away. Maybe you'll get into Lumina State next time. Why don't you return for now? Wait, did I not win? Oh fuck's sake, then I'm restarting. No, I'm not going through that shit. If the professor's like, oh, you didn't get it, then I don't fucking care. I think your target is... There! Splatoon movie made by Klasky Chupo. Klasky Chupo. I've always said Chupo, but that's not even right. That's not how it's said. 
but for some reason, in my mind's eye, that's how you say it. Honestly, feel like Rugrat style would fit Splatoon really well. Maybe I, I would have to see it first before I could make a, a definitive statement. Fuck. Always say it like Klasky Supo. Did I get it in its Illumina state? Are you happy, Professor? Are you gonna be happy if I take a picture of this fucking thing? That has to be Illumina, right? I still like sound like a fucking stomach rumbling. Okay, the professor didn't say, hey, you fucked well, up. there it went. Before you return, could I trouble you to make a quick detour? Something caught my attention while you were chasing after that Steelix. Okay, yeah, I think we did it this time. I think the professor is satisfied. The scan says it's not a natural formation. It's human-made. It's just begging to be explored. How do they determine if something is human-made or, like, Pokemon-made, though? Oh, or, I guess, like, natural-made? Can they just do a, like, the end of that? This cave is not a natural formation? Reference to Halo. I have a lot of Splatoon opinions, and some of them are mean. I would not play this game for photo taking, but for berry throwing gameplay. I got, I got, I got a couple mean Splatoon opinions. I think that, I think that Splatoon three is kind of at risk of being underwhelming. I think like if Splatoon three does like the same thing as Splatoon one and Splatoon two, it's just gonna be nothing and nobody's gonna care. The Inkopolis people are tired of the Squid Sisters. I'm not tired of the Squid Sisters, but I wouldn't mind them taking a backseat this time. I'm taking pictures. Do you think if I take enough pictures to run out of camera, the professor will get pissed and just send me back home? Is DJ Octavio like wasted potential? I never even really thought of him like that. I've got some good data for now. 
My Splatoon mean opinion is that Inklings and Octolings mean more body types? Yeah. That's all your memory. But since it's your first time here, let's see it through. Oh, okay. No, yeah, I think if they put, like, a couple more body types in, like, the Splatoon, um, Maker. Hard to describe without going on a tangent. Yeah, that's understandable. Man, these are such dog shit pictures, Professor. Are you sure you want this? This is like, like, this Steelix image with the Illumina stuff, like, borders on being, like, a Bigfoot photo. It's like the worst Illumina picture I've ever taken in my life. But the professor, he has no choice but to take it. Mean a Splatoon opinion is that you think it's too early for Splatoon 3? Like you don't think Splatoon 2 is old enough to live its full life cycle? Yeah, probably. I, I can agree to that. I think. Huh. Yeah, I remember a lot of people around me were very excited when Splatoon 3, Splatoon 3 got announced, and I'm kind of, like, I'm, like, cautiously optimistic about it. Explore before our survey comes to an end. Ready for the final frontier? I mean, there is something to be said about releasing a sequel too early. Because rather than make yourself more money, you can risk cannibalizing the sales of both games. Like, that's part of the reason why there's no Mario Kart 9 yet, is because they would risk uh they would risk cannibalizing the sales of mario kart 8 deluxe which is selling so incredibly well even to this day there's something to be said about that um that's probably why there's um you know probably why you won't see a lot of sequels to a lot of the bigger bigger switch games Like, I, th I think, like, there might not be a Super Mario Odyssey sequel just because it's selling so well. I think that's also why Super Mario Party got an online update, when I can imagine that was probably meant to be saved for a sequel. <laughs> not only are there another Illumina Pokemon, they've also been around since before the meteorite. It's just me, Professor. Is that excitement in your voice? It's not just you. This isn't what I expected, but it's a fascinating discovery. Plus, I've gone over all our data, and it shows that energy from all over Lentil is converging in one spot. And in the same spot, we picked up a very faint reading from an Illumina Pokemon. The central one from the mural? Seems like it. So where is it? That's the tricky part. This points to a tiny island that doesn't even appear on the map. Mm -hmm. And there, most likely, is where we'll find the island spoken of in the legends. Aris Island. Now. Time for one final expedition. Let's find the truth once and for all. Not like the Nintendo games they say are getting sequels even get them anyways. Yeah. Zelda fans are like... Zelda fans are getting like a little annoying. Like I don't, I don't. Want, once again, I don't want to start drama with anyone. 
but it's a little embarrassing that every Nintendo tweet has like 15 different reply guys going, Hey, when the fuck are you gonna talk about Breath of the Wild 2? As if like E3 isn't next month. New Animal Crossing fans. Literally though, literally though, you're so right. Hi, doggy. The reading was coming from deeper inside. Be careful. Yeah, a lot of the problem with a lot of Nintendo fans is that it just becomes very apparent that they don't play any other video games. Like, listen, I play a lot of stupid Nintendo baby games on this stream. Absolutely not the only thing I play, though. I, I like I, I like to think that I have a pretty decent palette. But, like, so many, so many Nintendo fans just don't. They just have no interest. Also, I don't, I don't think I agree with New Horizons being ugly. I think New Leaf looked ugly as shit. I don't know if I'm risking being a controversial opinion there. New Leaf was kind of ugly. And it was kind of because of the Crunchified. New Horizons feels unfocused. Yeah, I think that's probably where I'd put it. Just kind of unfocused. I think New Horizons is 100% a game where, like, if you're not into its customization aspects, it's just not gonna be very fun for you. And, like... I get like, that's fine enough. I'm not, like, a huge enough Animal Crossing fan to be, like, annoyed about that, but... Uh, it definitely- it definitely doesn't have the broader... Actually, it probably does have broader appeal just because of that, considering it sold, like, fucking 30 million copies. I can't say it doesn't have broader appeal, considering it sold way better than any other game in the series. Yeah, I think it's like too- it's a bit too clunky right now. I- I- I think like, New Horizons is like a good foundation, but like as a product on its own? Eh. I think I- I think I hi- like... Nah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I love giving my opinion on Animal Crossing New Horizons because I love coming off as if I'm like some kind of fucking centrist. Because I think a lot of people who are like bigger Animal Crossing fans have like very mean things to say about the game. Also, yeah, that's- that's what I knew you were referring to. Just like, Animal Crossing fans whining about there being no- no game. Yeah, they- they should have delayed it more. Honestly, though, like, they- they should have just delayed it more and then not had any, like, dumb updates. Cause, like, who- who give a shit? You're so right, also. You're so right. It's just, it's just like an unfortunate trend where a lot of Nintendo games come out and they just like up up to take forever to like finish updating the game. It's like how did we take two and a half years to get online multiplayer for Super Mario Party? Like should that not have been in the game already? Right? had me at it's an unfortunate trend when a lot of Nintendo games come out. Honestly though, I feel like ev like every other Nintendo release unleashes like a new evil in the world. 
Like, they gotta, they gotta, like, slow down the brakes, because I don't think, like, the pe- Like, this didn't happen during the Wii U era, not because the, the, all the Wii U games were bangers, but because there just simply wasn't enough quantity for people to lose their, uh, in, like, minds about. This dog. That's a pretty good dog. If that's not a 4,000, this professor is fucking stupid. Nintendo fans fascinate me. They will somehow never be quenched. Yeah. I mean, I, there's definitely, like, complaints to be had about a lot of Nintendo games. But... Once again, it always goes back to Nintendo games. Nintendo fans don't play any other video games, and I feel like they do themselves a disservice by doing that. Because, like, if you only only rely on Nintendo games to uh, cleanse your palate, you're just not going to be satisfied. Also, I don't think you're being a jerk for not liking New Horizons. Also, yeah, p part of why New Horizons is the way it is is because it doesn't have any competition. Like, that that's a good piece of the puzzle that, like, is unseen, is that uh, Animal Crossing kind of goes uncontested because anytime there was, like, a pseudo-rival, like, people would just be like, oh, this is, like, an Animal Crossing ripoff. Same shit happens to Pokemon. Like, Pokemon is the way it is because there's just no competition. Also, yeah, that's, like, so respectable. I, I, like, I grew up on Nintendo games, and I like playing a lot of Nintendo games, but, like, I do not, I do not attribute my personality to Nintendo. I will, I refuse to make Nintendo my personality. Also, yeah, I think it, I think it is good to mention that New Horizons did add some nice skin tone options, which I think means something. But, yeah. You were 10 when you got your 3DS and Wii, damn. Oh my god. We had a Wii, but also a PS2 and classic Xbox, so you just latched on to video games. That's respectable. That's really respectable. I had like a I had like a PS2 as a kid, and I loved the PS2. I liked the PS2 more than I liked my GameCube. A new discovery. I need I would like to play some classic Xbox. I had like the only Xbox console we've ever had in the house was my brother's Xbox 360. And I didn't really get to play much on it. I've played, like, Xbox Connect games at, like, people's houses. But, like, in terms of, like, pure, pure like, Xbox experiences, like, I've played, like, fucking Assassin's Creed 3, which is such, like, a flaccid game. Like, I don't know if people are, like, big fans of Assassin's Creed 3. But, like, I just played it for, like, an hour, and I was just, like, very bored. I heard that the pirate one was pretty good, though. I heard that pirate Assassin's Creed is, like, a great one. I think the problem is that Assassin's Creed was an annual series. And, like, it absolutely did not earn the right to be that. Okay, I got the Crystal Bloom emit. Doesn't, X, original Xbox doesn't have that many excuses, but it's still one of your favorite consoles. Is it, wasn't it, like... The beefiest piece of hardware that generation? Or is that the GameCube? I know the PS2 was underpowered, and I mean, the Dreamcast died and was also underpowered. But I mean, Dreamcast also came crazy early. Tried a few Assassin's Creed and only latched onto Odyssey because it had Hot Woman. That's fair. Console exclusives are lame, IMO. I've, I, like, both agree and disagree with that, to be honest. Because I think they are a little lame, but also I feel like they're one of the few things that, like, drives competition.
No, yeah, that's, that's like, completely fair. I think that's a problem with general video games, is that video games are too expensive. And they've gotten away with that for so long, and now, like, video games are a multi-billion dollar fucking stupid industry. When I, And, like, at this point, honestly, companies could stand to sell their games at lower prices, but they won't. In fact, they're gonna start selling their games at higher prices. Also, hi, welcome back, Atticus. love to have a ps5 because you want to get the little big planet game because funny clown that's respectable i don't i don't really want any of the new generation consoles i honestly would rather grab a ps4 at this point even though that's like technically last gen now but like now that it's at the end of its life i think it has a pretty respectable library this is the problem with a lot of new consoles is that they don't really start with anything that good at launch and it takes a while for them to really come into their own this is the same thing that happened to the ps3 except worse want to get a ps5 because you're glad they finally started making consoles look bad again <laughs> <laughs> that's that's really good another set of amazing ruins that's right and there's something intriguing about them they seem to include two distinct types of structures what's different about them if we compare the ruins at the entrance to what we saw deeper inside the cave let me see the cave part seems to have been built later and possibly in a rush there was definitely something weird about that area. Why were flowers from the other islands in there? We can take we can take that as evidence that energy from all throughout Lenthor is converging there. If we can untangle these mysteries, I'm sure we'll find the way forward. In the meantime, I finished work on another set of Illumina orbs. I'm sure they'll prove to be helpful. All right. We're getting close to our goal thanks to all the research you three have been doing. Keep it up. Honestly, like, consoles that look like shit are superior. Hmm. Consoles should be that sweet, sweet novelty translucent colored plastic again. <laughs> Yeah, the PS5 is fucking beefy. They did that specifically because the PS4 had such a bad overheating problem that they were like, you know what? We're just gonna jack this thing with, like, the biggest fucking cooling system we can come up with. And I think that's really funny. It's also another step in making consoles come closer to, like, just being computers. have a PS1 to USB converter that's translucent blue, but you don't think it works right because your buttons keep tapping randomly? Oh, that's a shame. Oh, yeah. Isn't the, isn't the classic Xbox controller, aka the Duke, like a huge motherfucker? I remember that. I want to get my hands on an original Xbox specifically so I can play the original Xbox Half-Life 2. Because I think, like, that's such, like, a neat novelty to me. But I, I think, like, Half-Life 2 on Xbox is, like, a crazy huge price, isn't it? Like, I think it's one of the actually valuable Xbox original games. have not played Half-Life 2 Xbox, but can't imagine it's the best way to play it. Oh, for sure, but I do- I- I do like that they- they did it at all. I- I want to play it mainly for the novelty of it. God, 
I want to stream Final Fantasy VII at some point. Although, once again, I'd have to, like, I'd have to put a little bit of a warning on that, because the translation can be fucking stupid at times. Was that one of the things I needed to hit? I don't know if it was. I guess not. I think that was. Yeah, they said they have like the R slur in there and like I would have to like warn before like that happens. Yeah, I think there's like a cop who also says it. I don't like once again, I don't know why that's in there. Like for some reason, like back the like back in like okay, I think we're gonna have to restart this because I fucked up the goal work puzzle. You only gotta hit him once. Yeah, it was one of the fucking guards at Midgar. Probably just avoid talking to the guards, honestly, so I can at least avoid that one. It's just, it's just like, for some reason, back in the 90s, they thought, like, the R word was, like, an acceptable replacement for, like, a character, like, in Japanese saying, like, oh, this, that's stupid, that's dumb. And they were, like, but it was, like, it was, like, supposed to be real mean, so they were, like, okay, how do we get the mean across? And then Slur Joe came in and said, I have an idea. People were mad they removed Tifa saying the R slur in the remake. But do you really need to hear Tifa say the R word in real life? I can, ima I, I can imagine part of that was that the voice actors just did not feel comfortable saying that. They were probably like, Hey, my, I, hey, like, my dad told me these are the kinds of words you just don't say. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 has more than one instance of the R word, but they censored shoot him in the back. I mean, those are priorities. Oh, did I say five? I meant to say three. Sometimes I sometimes I have a little blunder of the word, especially because we've been streaming for over four hours. It doesn't say that on Twitch, but I have in fact been live for. Or been trying to be live for four hours. This is the part of the stream where I get a little tired. Yeah, 100%. Morgan, did you take your meds? Oh, I should. I probably should. I probably should, so I go to bed at a decent time. But I haven't made it a priority. I keep thinking like I'm basically at the end of my school term. Even though I have like three more classes. But like, really those three classes barely matter. We all get a little sleepy, it's true. Eldegoss is really good. A group of Eldegoss is called a Bible Club. <laughs> I don't know what the context of that is, but it's pretty good. Oh, did I not? Yeah, that should be lit up. Did old get caught by auto mod? Probably. Yeah, I did a freaking trick shot. Where is the Neo one going? Going into the light. <laughs> Energy from each island seems 
seems to be flowing upward. Yeah, auto mod's a bit silly, like that'll take you up. but it does make sure nobody says it's Lur in chat, so, so it's pretty go. useful. I'll set up a teleportation point at the top. Why don't you come back to camp? Yeah, no okay. old people allowed. They they scare me. Yeah, I could probably see why they don't like people saying degenerate, but sometimes sometimes you can. I I think a little Ellen degenerate is allowed. Oh, did I only cat? I didn't even catch any pictures of Pokemon. I was so focused on the objective, I didn't take any pictures. I think we're at the final boss. Funniest time you've ever been flagged by auto mod was when you called Marge Simpson a MILF. <laughs> Shouldn't have said it. It just, it just uncalled for. Just uncalled for, really. I remember there was, like, a Twitter post where a guy was like, Stewie Griffin hates MILFs, for he is trying to murder one of the greatest of our generation. And I think that's really funny. Just the idea that, to someone, Lois Griffin is a MILF. It really- it really says something about our world. Anyways, are you guys excited for the final level? We're gonna do final level time. They're wrong. Yeah, there's a- oh god, I've seen the sexy Lois Griffin cosplayers. I can't imagine, like, trying to sex up Family Guy at all because it looks like that. Imagine if someone tried to make, like, sensual Peter Griffin. It just wouldn't work. It just wouldn't work. Looks like now's the moment we've been waiting for. If I'm reading the topography correctly, this ought to take you straight to the center of the ruins through the gate that we saw at the beginning. Ooh. You can't make Family Guy sexier than it already is? You know, normally I wouldn't suggest our mods go mad with power. You might- I think that's almost- like, that's like dangerously close to a timeout. Like, I'm, I might get a little trigger happy if you say something like that again. That's where we'll find the Pokemon that was in the middle of the others in the mural, right? Yep. Right. After all this, we finally get to meet it. Yep. And I think we all know you're one to handle the moment. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Of course you get all the fun. You better get some good photos. Fun. Say hi to the Illumina Pokemon for me. I can see in your eyes that you're ready. That's right. the spirit. Good luck out there. Keep your chin up and your camera ready. Oh god, one of our mods is taking the side of Reed. This is a, this is this is a this is a real tragedy. This is a real tragedy we're experiencing. Morgan help. I have to capture the po final boss. H hold on. Ca family guy is sexy. I'll defend that. Come on, guys. We're better than this. Can't we appreciate this fucking tree? Can't we just appreciate this tree real quick? Instead of instead of saying these tarot these hard things in chat. Look at this. Orb. Rui gets a pass. <laughs> Here's Xerneas. Lois Griffin kind of fun. <laughs> Guys. 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 
We can't keep. I can't keep letting you guys get away with this. Go get him. I think we're all a little silly tonight. I think I think I think we've reached critical silly point. Where the hell is this goddamn deer? I don't remember how to do this final boss. The way I think I just like tap the orb. Why is Lois gr with that ugly beast Peter when she could get with me? Okay. Okay, guys. I feel like I've I've been exposed to a different side of all of you tonight. I, I think I've learned a lot about you guys that I never thought I'd learn in my life. And I don't I don't know what to do with this. Can this fucking orb stand still? Or maybe I have to pelt it with apples. But it's gotta be the Illumina orbs, right? This is kind of just like the same shit as the original Pokemon Snap boss fight where you throw things at a ball. And then if you do it well enough, you win. How the hell do I get this goddamn deer in frame? Hey, get over here. Get over here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm starting kind of feeling like the coronavirus myself, the way nobody wants me. I'm, like, failing at this final boss. I'm gonna be on an r slash streamer fails for this one. This is really just an embarrassing performance tonight. But I'm, gl I'm glad you guys enjoyed this. I'm glad, like, we're all done with finals. I'm, I'm having a good time. Oh, shit. Kind of crazy how recently I've been feeling like the coronavirus myself. The way nobody wants me. The source of the reading, but it's very faint. Yeah, how the fuck do I get this goddamn deer? I don't even remember how I did it on my own. Like, I beat this game on my own, but if you asked me how I did it, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Incredible! This reading is off the charts! You go ahead and throw a Brian Griffin somewhere. Also, I would take my pill, but taking my pill requires me to drink water, and I kinda gotta take a monster piss right now. If I'm being honest. If we're, if we're like, 4.30, 4 hours, 30 minutes into a stream, I think it's time I just admit, I just like, be honest with you guys. I gotta be honest with you guys, I can't lie to you anymore. Sometimes I just- sometimes I too as a streamer have to take a pee.
I know I know this may make you view me diff differently. You, you may... You may have a different opinion of me after that, but I must just be honest. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do, Professor. But I'm like fucking dog shit at it. Oh, you know what the problem is? I haven't been doing the zoom in. If I do the zoom in, I'm more likely to get it. Yeah, see? Are you like... Yeah, turn around. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh... If he said that, that means we win, right? I forgot that you're more accurate if you zoom in. That was probably my problem the first time around. So tip, tip to anyone who ever plays this video game, uh, zoom in. And it'll be great. And then you'll win. But I can't hit this goddamn thing in the water. This is impossible. We love to... It's a good good idea to just throw balls at God. What the hell was Xerneas even like in, like, the X and Y lore anyways? It just did, it just did like, life things. God. Life deer, death bird. Is, like, Yveltal supposed to be a bird? Because it doesn't look like one. I do not look at Yveltal and think, like, that's a bird. It's kind of a bird. It's like a wyvern. Yeah, that's probably what I would think. I think Wyvern is a pretty good summation of what it looks like. A Wyvern for Pokemon? Why? Ooh. Pretty good. Fucking deer. Did I beat gaming? You know it. I did it. I'm the champion of new Pokemon Snap. at it like it was gonna wink at me like I'm in a Pixar movie what if a deer shot all five orbs at you I would probably die what if a deer ran at you at very fast speeds easy question I would die Did I really only take these pictures of the ru- These pictures of the ruins suck. Those are so bad. How did I take such right. fucked up pictures of the ruins? Excellent. Nice work. Yeah, there was no way he was giving me a bad grade for that.
that Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. I took a picture of God and he was like, yeah, nice work. Not a lot of people can do my job, Mirror. I could always find a different client. Actually, that's not true. There's probably, like, a million other better, like, Pokemon photographers. Uh, I'm getting to the point of talking too much where, like, my voice is getting a bit scratchy. That's how I know I've been talking my head off a lot. I knew it. We were right to believe there was another Illumina Pokemon. <laughs> the mural was spot on. Mm -hmm. Yes, which raises the question. Did things really happen the way the mural depicts them? Maybe Xerneas called out the others, all the others for help. So they could make a barrier or something to stop the meteorite. A barrier enough big to cover the entire lentil region? Hmm, I don't know. Yeah. That's gotta be what happened. Yeah. That'd mean the people who built the ruins long ago helped the Illumina Pokemon too. But the meteorite came out 2,000 years ago. Shouldn't Xerneas have awakened long before now? I think stopping the meteorite probably took just about everything it had. So th maybe that's why it's still tired that a after a 2,000 year nap. Hmm. So... When do, you, when do you think that mural was made anyway? Wait, what? Also. And who do you think made it? I, well... well. Hmm. Wait, why is it that you were able to meet those Illumina Pokemon? <sighs> yeah, why is what? What you is this cutscene? Right? Get what? Of course. <laughs> so obvious. It's 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 so clear to me. It's so simple. Do you really not know, Professor? Hmm. Pokemon can tell when someone really loves them. And yeah, they come on. That love right back. Right? This game is a kids movie, literally. That's like the most cornball kids movie ending ever. We have got to get you out of the lab more often. It's pretty fun, though. Like, I, I think some people were kind of annoyed by, like, the Squid Game's writing, but, like, considering it was, like, a Pokemon spinoff, it's, like, acceptable. <laughs> it really is, like, a ending. I'm ready for the dance sequence, though. Like, the DreamWorks dance sequence. And I'm ready for, like, I don't fucking know, like... Illumina Xerneas to be tapping its deer foot in Pokemon Jail. <laughs> we have got to go to Pokemon Island. But yeah, that was new Pokemon Snap. Uh, really fun. Really fun. Um, I think, like, the padding gets less annoying. I think, like, playing this off stream and figuring out what I have to do to progress really helped the flow of this stream compared to the first one because I didn't have to replay levels over and over again like a goddamn fool. I was just like, okay, this is the specific goal I have. This is what I have to do to get out of here. I'm not, like, lost. I'm not, like, stuck. And, yeah. It's annoying that the game is kind of like that, and I still feel like even when you know exactly what to do, it's still a bit padded. But, um, it's, it's a good game. It's a good game. Um, it definitely could have been a lot worse. I feel like like the big sentiment around this game is it could have been a lot worse and that's true i don't think it quite reaches the height of the original mainly because of that padding like it, and also it's missing some of the cooler customization or not customization but like you kind of had a bit more freedom in the original with the random pokemon that showed up like you had the pester balls you could use you could use the poke flute and you had the apples and they pretty much react to all of them uh, but this game doesn't have that as much. Uh, Pokemon usually only have a specific thing they react to. Which is a bit of a shame, but it's uh, not the end of the world. I still had a great time with this game. And, um, 
I, I think it's good. I think it's good. If you if you were a big fan of the original, and like you just want to see the big Pokemon graphics in 3D, like this is probably the best looking Pokemon game ever. No, I think this is the best looking Pokemon game. I don't think like I don't think any other Pokemon game comes close. There's like Pokemon Tournament, but like I don't know. I think it's a little. I think Pokemon's a little ago. If I'm being honest, I like Pokemon. It's a little ago. It, like, delves a bit too close to the realism for me. But, I mean, Pokken is what got this game greenlit. Um, Pokemon Company liked what they saw from Bandai Namco. So, they let them develop this game, which is really cool. It's also nice in general that, like, the Pokemon Company is willing to, like, exper- like, let- other companies like experiment with these spin-offs and like or even like bring back these old franchises it's cool also they like i wish they would get genius scenario on something because they're such a talented studio i would like i hope if we complain enough about like a new coliseum and xc they'll actually do it because clearly complaining about a new pokemon snap was enough so we can do this. We can, like, make sure they have to keep making more Pokemon spinoffs. I mean, yeah. Also, yeah, Pokemon- Pokemon is Jump Force if it was slightly less gross. That's probably apt, I would say. We got a bully Pokemon company. Clearly, because it works. It works. We got them to make this game. And Pokemon spinoffs have been in danger of becoming a dying breed because Pokemon Company is more interested in mobile doo-doo garbage. But I'm glad we still get one. I hope, like, they keep up the pace. It seems like we're on track to get one, like, once... One every year, which would be... Which is nice. Especially because these spinoffs won't be developed by Game Freak. And they can get some time to work on other shit. It really is a Pokemon. It really is a Pokemon. I hope I hope that by making more spin-offs, like Poke like Game Freak is given more freedom and more time to work on games. I really hope that's the the direction we're going. This sure was a Pokemon Snap. But I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a fun little just stream for me. Um I had a good time. I liked I like to look at the funny Pokemon. And I think that's worth the world. Nintendo of Korea. They really only get four people from Nintendo of Korea on this? They got two people from Nintendo of China. Oh, but they got IQ in there. And here's the Mario Club. I wanna, I wanna like join the Mario Club because isn't the Mario Club essentially just like a group of playtesters for Nintendo games? Being a playtester would be pretty fun. Although, like, I don't think it's as easy of a job that people make it out to be. Like, a lot of people are just like, oh, your job would just be playing a video game, but like, you have to make sure it adheres to like a certain level of quality. And sometimes you're gonna be playtesting a game that might be in a genre. That you don't even like, but you gotta suck it up and say, It's polished. You know? And also, I don't know how, like... I might get sick of playing games by all the doggone playtesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those things where, like, yeah, it might be a fun job for a bit. But you might lose your mind, because you gotta keep doing it. It's the same thing with like being a video game reviewer like you would you would get a little sick of games because you got to keep playing them Oh god, I wonder who has it worse playtesters or reviewers because playtesters are like doing it pretty consistently I don't know if they're put under a lot of crunch But I know video game reviewers get put under a lot of crunch like they have to get out Like if if they get a review code like a week before the game comes out Like they have to make sure they get through that entire fucking game and write up a whole review about it in that time. So it's like, pick your poison. Play, te play tester, you're in it for the long haul. But 
reviewer, you get you have to do it really quickly. It's like you have to like speed run it. Heard play testing does get extremely tedious. Yeah, I'd imagine you have to do a couple things over and over again, especially if you notice like a big bug or something, and you have to be like, hey, could, can you guys fix that? And then you have to replay that part, that entire game again. And then when you discover, I don't know if that's exactly how it goes, but I can imagine it gets that tedious. Yeah, I don't think any playtester would really have over control over that stuff. Have, like, if you give heat to playtesters, what the fuck are you doing, honestly? <laughs> Nothing can kill your passion for video games like the video game industry. Ain't that the truth? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel- I, play testers are very important to a game. Because, like, a developer will know, like, their exact- like, the exact way to play a game. And they'll know the exact way they want people to play a game. But they can't anticipate how other people are going to play. So you need, like, at least a couple playtesters to be like, Okay, this is how I played it, and this is what hurdles I came across. Here's what bugs I came across. Uh, can you fix it? Also, yeah, I can't- I still can't taste the te game for, uh, how long are we at? Uh, it's currently at 294 days. But yeah, I hope you I hope you guys enjoyed Pokemon yep. Snap. Thank you. I had a good time. Mm -hmm. oh. I remember. They talk about the research, there's still lots to do, and there is. There's a good amount of content yeah. left in this game. But I'm not I'm not gonna be doing it on stream. Another thing. Wow. You could. You can always taste a switch <laughs> cartridge. I I think it's not worth the hype. I think, like, people talk about how it's the worst taste in the world. It, it's like, whatever. Hey. Maybe I'm just desensitized to it, though. But I never had, like, a, the visceral reaction to the Switch cartridge that a lot of people do. <laughs> like, a lot of people put it in their mouth and they're like, Bleh! But I was just like, yeah, it's just kind of bitter. Uh, that's it. Oh, now I can do the pixelated one, though. What is Steam doing? Did I accidentally open Steam again? That's fine. That's fine. I don't know. Have you tried insert funny food to hate on here? <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed Pokemon Snap. I had a great time streaming it and I hope you had fun. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Maybe I'll start Doom tomorrow. If I am streaming tomorrow, thanks for snapping. No problem. Thanks for coming, everyone. It was, it was a pretty big turnout. I'm I'm very happy with with this stream. I feel I feel like we're gonna get back into the swing of things. Um, you know, April April. Hold on. April was admittedly a hard month for me. Um, and I think that kind of reflected in my streaming. But I hope like I hope like May and beyond. We do some fun stuff. Fun stream tonight? Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you had fun. We did have all sorts of talking and picture taken. And I hope I hope we continue to have some good good streams coming up. I think maybe I will do Doom 64 tomorrow. I would love I would love to give it a shot on stream. I mean I've already played it. I know how it goes. It's a fun game, but you know. I want to be able to share the experience with you because it's my personal favorite classic Doom game. But I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Uh, but I think I think that's the plan. And then Friday will probably be Combo Pack Night. Saturday will probably be Pokemon Platinum. And then I'll go from there. Um, I'll probably make an actual schedule for next week since I only have one class. But yeah, that's it. Have a good night, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, we should raid someone. Who's live? Who's live? I, I have forgotten to, like, raid people se several times in the past while. Who's live? 
Okay, not well, not anyone really right now. But we'll I'll remember to raid next time. Yeah, Doom Doom 2016 is good. Have a good night. Bye bye.